What's going on, everybody? Captain Robert and crew here. Meteorian Core, episode 38, the final one of 2022. Ooh. I'm, so, I'm so glad you brought on of 2022 there real quick. <laughs> it wasn't leaving a pause. <laughs> <laughs> final one ever. Da, da, da. No, we have more. We just take a little holiday break. It's the other campaigns that are all wrapping up. You're fine. You're safe here. <laughs> Lies. <laughs> Lies. We're all rolling that once tonight. I'm where, just going to Where do it. we ever feel safe? You no, sure don't manifest that? it, please. You no, I'm just saying. No <laughs> yeah, no, don't bully me, please. <laughs> Not 20s, baby. Lots of them. Crit 19s. Come on. Everyone say mm -hmm. close to Rob. Yeah, crit 19s. <laughs> all the 20s. Look, listen, we already got here from like a one in four chance and we could have ended up in bad places apparently. So like, you know, we're good. We're good. I feel we like we're the bad people in some places. <laughs> some stories, yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Who's got big announcements they want to let the community know about before uh, we take our two week break? I am in a one shot this Sunday evening at 7 p.m. Eastern over on Dead Aussie Gamers channel. We are doing Dragon One Shot. Well, Dragon Kitchen. It's basically Iron Chef. It's going to be great. It'll be me versus, uh, yeah, one shot questers. So they're chaotic and wild. So what could possibly go wrong? And I definitely know a lot about cooking. And I've <laughs> not burned butter in a microwave before. <laughs> Oh. As long as your microwave's out of the oven, you're fine. Yeah, it's fine. I most of the time remember that. <laughs> I wish I could say that's the dumbest microwave story I've ever heard, but no, I'm the originator of the dumbest microwave story ever. Let's hear it. Let's hear okay. it. Okay. Yeah, uh, I meant to put a baked potato in there for 10 minutes. There was the 10 minute button and I accidentally pressed it twice. And uh, that was a very incinerated potato and the house <laughs> smelled of smoke. And Elle came downstairs at like six in the morning and said, did you try to burn the house down? <laughs> yes. Wait, uh, hold on. You're, you're making a baked potato in the microwave at six in the morning? Hi, I only just got back onto a good work schedule. <laughs> I really <laughs> got goblin. Goblin Wait. life mode activated. No, it's deactivated. It's fine. That's okay. I tried to thaw a loaf of bread in the microwave, and um, I didn't realize that the <laughs> thing around it is plastic. Yeah. <laughs> I started a fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, I would we, say that mm. this happened when I was younger, but it was just a few years ago. <laughs> I don't know. <mention> <laughs> this is fantastic. I feel great now I'm about my cooking skills. Therapy. <laughs> Look, listen, I think what we're all discovering is that the real enemy here is the microwave. Yes. You know? There's a common mm -hmm. denominator here. Yes. Yes. Yeah, because if you cook, you don't use that machine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the stove is much safer. It's fine. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, the amount of times I've left on a gas stove, we don't want to talk about. <laughs> oh, God. It's all right, your gas company saves you on that because you wake up, you'll know. Oh, whew. we're opening up every f window and door in this house. That, that compound they put in there, that, that does raise the dead. You are, you are very aware that your house is full of gas. <laughs> oh, man. Oof. So stressful. It's so, like uh, the outside, restaurant, you know, man. You just leave the pilot burners on. You're going to let that shit happen. <laughs> you just leave them on. Anybody mm. else with great cooking stories or announcements they want to let folks know about? It's not great cooking stories, but but whenever we return, I'll be in a new place. What? That doesn't mean I'm dying. Like, I'm not dying. I'm not going to a different like that kind of place. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be in a better I'll place. I'll be in a step better place. Yeah, we bought a house. So Please. in one week, next Thursday. Please, Please. Nelson, da, da, da. <laughs> administer the Kool Aid for the party. <laughs> yes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Real talk. Well, all right. well, hey, come on! If you're gonna make a Jim Jones joke, I'm gonna give it to the necromancer. All right, come on! I think we had we had enough time. I think we have enough time in between the internet. Too uh, soon. Too soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's uh, the Hailbop comic crew. I get, it, I get it. So we, we went to the night. Where are those Nikes now? <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else with announcements that can save me right now? That'd be great. Nope. Uh, 
Um, it's beautiful outside, and where I live looks like the front of a Hallmark card. Aww. It's beautiful. That's my only announcement. So thanks for You need happy. to get a pet reindeer. I could see you taking care of a, a whole shed oh. of reindeer. I don't know why I thought shed was an amount, but I'm going to stick with it. A whole shed. A whole shed. How many reindeers fit in a shed? At least one. My deer shed. Depends Your upon deer. the size of the shed. Yeah. I just see Glam as a reindeer person. I feel like you would get along with them. Uh, yeah. I just have a no animals larger than me vow oh. that I have put, put on myself that, uh, yeah. No, it, yes, correct. He's got his ear <laughs> shed, and that's uh, coincidentally right next to his meat processing shed. No, no, that's terrible. That's not what I. I just imagine like you throwing like reindeer food out into the oh, snow. 100%, yeah, like, oh, 100%. Yeah, percent. Like, oh yeah, our our land, yeah. our, our property is a safe space for sure. Yes. <laughs> like yeah. the first day that I come up on Glam's property, if he doesn't roll up like he's on a World mm -hmm. of Warcraft moose mount. To greet, to greet me <laughs> at the basin. Never, Come. <laughs> everyone does reindeer food before Christmas, right? Like, like that's a, a night thing elf everyone... druid. <laughs> so Am I the only one who does that? Do you uh, all do reindeer food before Christmas? I don't do it, Christmas? but I know what you're talking about. They'll leave okay. out like a carrot for the reindeer, just like they leave like cookies for Santa. No, you do. It's glitter oh. and oatmeal. What? So it sparkles in the snow. Yeah, you make glitter. You mix glitter and oatmeal, but it has to be like the edible glitter. You have different reindeer food. You, you trying to <laughs> edible, edible, edible glitter, but you mix it with oatmeal and you throw it out. I mean, technically, where I live, we didn't have reindeer, so it'd be for the birds. But you get a whole different yeah. set of reindeer on that one. Dawn, yeah. Destiny, April. And then it looks really pretty out in the yard, whether you have snow or not. I. It looks like unicorn vomit. Yeah, that's <laughs> another way of putting it. Thank you. A carrot would be healthier. That's probably a better choice. So we can I, get through the rest of the night. Yeah. If my if my parents caught us doing that when we were younger, it would have been chaos immediately because that attracts small animals, which then attract foxes, which then scream like dying things in the back garden at <laughs> two in the morning. Yeah, <laughs> their little sounds of torture. Oh, it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> they're so oh, yeah. cute. They always look like they're smiling when they make that sound. Oh yeah, it's... like jaws or jowls like open so wide. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone make your best talk sound. So <laughs> I didn't leave. <laughs> I didn't leave things out, but they I would wait till midnight out. to try to talk to my cat and my dog. I don't know what. I don't think that's like. Probably some like pagan stuff. I don't know, but it was like so apparently you could talk to animals at midnight. That's something I picked up. And so I'd wait yeah. and I'd be like, I'd try to talk to whiskers. I'd sit there forever, like, I know you can hear me. <laughs> that sounds yeah. like something. Right. Something that sounds like something your brother just told you was a thing. Yeah, I didn't listen. I didn't listen to him. It had been some I mean, some other deviant uh, adult. I'm gonna check it out. I yeah. want to talk to my cats. Talk to Christmas. Talk to animals at midnight. <laughs> Okay, See, I'm gonna give that. Okay, I fear the Same. problem is that I could sit there and if the midnight talk to cats thing worked, mm -hmm. my cat would not give a shit. Right? Be like, oh, mental floss. How talking cool. animals became a Christmas legend. I got reading to do later. <laughs> your um, your the point legend. of view on your point of view on talking to cats reminds me of, is like my point of view on vampires, where I'm like, can you please just do it like now, please? <laughs> Like, now. I know you're real. I, just, you are welcome in. Just, holy like, shit. Just pontificating on the whole predator versus prey, the blood thing. Yeah, no, I heard it all before, done that. Like, do we need to do the spiel? Is this... Did, did, I was right! No preface and... <laughs> the legend, most common in parts of Europe, has been applied to farm animals <laughs> and household pets alike and operates on the belief <laughs> that Jesus' birth occurred exactly at midnight on Christmas Day, leading to various supernatural occurrences. Many speculate that the myth has pagan roots. <laughs> it's morphed into a belief that the ox and donkey in the nativity scene uh, <laughs> were able to talk. See, that's where I got it from! That's some old German that, shit! Like, mm -hmm. clocks? To be able to clock that? It happened exactly at midnight? Hey, you know, it happened exactly on the 25th, exactly at midnight. Mm -hmm. That's so hard to believe. That's exactly how you get mule speaking when you drank enough Yule Tide cheer. 
to be the Yule, Yuletide fungus. I'll oh. talk to those fucking sheep all night long. <laughs> the very mycenial Christmas. Oh, <laughs> uh, I don't want to croak us again. Uh, he's talking out his ass. No, talking to an ass. <laughs> oh. Oh. So, announcements over here. This will be the last episode of Meteorian Core for this year. We're taking a two week break. We'll see everybody back in the new year on January 5th after this episode. So 22nd, 29th, you're gonna have to play hooky with us. Enjoy the time off. The only D&D going down on the channel is gonna be the uh, commission game with the mod. So you get a little bit of drip and, uh, and, and get to enjoy me playing uh, low power magic. So enjoy the next coming weeks. We need to pick up where we left off. Aboard the spell jammer over the purple sands of a symbiote controlled shadow fell. Locked in some perpetual drift, unable to get closer to the rock of which has always been the ancestral family zone and home for Xanran's people. Stuck a foot going, getting no closer nor farther away. You guys took matters into your own hands. In particular, Xanran using his ability to cut the fabric of time. Opening up a portal to a new world. As we rolled on that table, you guys will be emerging on the other side. Has everybody already walked through the portal? We just talked about what the portal was. I don't think we walked through it yet. Did we? Uh, we have not walked through it. Yeah, we have not no, walked no. through it yet. So yeah. I will. we will pick up as the portal opens. Xanran, you do know where the portal is. This will make it look as if you know what you're doing. Uh, so there's really no difference in Xanran's mind. Uh, you have successfully carved your way into the multiverse on a different timeline of the Shadow Fell. So there's no question in your mind where you're going. We will pick up with the scene of you opening up the portal proper in front of everyone else. What does it look like? Go ahead, Xander, and describe what the portal looks like. It's kind of based on the ceremony circle that Xanarin's drawn a bunch of times, but it's far more anima animated, and you can see this gaping moor of darkness that sort of surrounds the periphery of it. When we go through the portal, it's almost like stepping through a corridor. You're stepping out onto what is a rugged spit of land surrounded by blinking starlight. And there's not much that you can see there aside from the other side and the exit. So you step through and you will see this multitude of worlds that you clearly believe are possibilities and places you could go out there, but it's really not clear if there's any other way to go anywhere other than the door. You could sit, you could look out into the oblivion below you and the infinity above, but most of all, you're drawn to the exit right in front of you. Thomas just like hauls ass through. <laughs> Thomas! <laughs> Those well points. I'll go get him. No, wait! No, wait, don't go yet! Toph will kind of freeze mid-motion. Uh, Toph, if you hear big angry voices, uh, ignore them, just keep moving, it's fine. Just go to the other side and uh, make sure you wait for everybody else, okay? Angry voices? Like what? You, trust me, when you hear it, you'll know it. You won't understand it, but you'll know it. Okay, I'll just keep running until you tell me to stop. And he'll just go for it. And gingerly, I'm just gonna kind of look back to everyone else and be like, I, I, after, after you, I, I, I think I know. I think an adult should have gone first. 
Toffin, Thomas, alone, on the other side, really? I mean, if we're going to control any two people in this group, Toph and Thomas are the people we choose to control the least. It, it's more of a case of possibility than… Ah, uh, damn. Uh, yeah, All right. Uh, Bitty starts going. <laughs> She's yep. like blowing you off. <laughs> I'm stepping through at this point too. It's just ah, yeah. oh, goddammit. <laughs> Nelson's fading, like waving as he backs through. Gotta get Thomas! Yeah, Rin Rinrix is going to go at the same time. Yeah, um, uh, ag again, if you if you uh, go through, just head straight through to the other side. Don't get distracted by anything. Um, I don't know if there's any other way, but I know there's more than one door that can sometimes open up here. So uh, just try and go straight through that one. I it, it, You don't want to linger in this place. Uh, oh, where exactly is this place? I don't know. What are we looking for? What does the door look like? So the door is essentially it's almost like looking back through a mirror. You know, you see um you see effectively where you were. It's just it's empty and it seems as though based on everything that we know about this it will be some kind of other time. Um and again the formation of the portal on the other end looks identical. You know, these are just two ceremonial circles. I know cool. the end of last week, Robert, you said the spell jammer would phase in, so I don't know how that works as far as Draxus is concerned, but yeah. So, Thomas and I are already through not knowing what the door looks like. Or that there were multiple doors. <laughs> I mean, oh, Thomas is just like, beelining. Yeah. I will be chasing <laughs> Thomas. Thomas is probably the safest thing to go through. <laughs> He's like, burr, 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 you know, like Chocobo style, just charging through. Perfect. Isn't he a lizard <laughs> now or dragonborn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But dragons are birds, right? This is true. Dra dragon is reptile is bird. <laughs> yes. Tear As you all is. step through the portal and are pulled through this wormhole. One by one. Your feet the crunch of sand as you come out of a light tunnel that opens up into a brighter shadow fell one not nearly as dark as the one that you came from you can actually see sunlight peering over the horizon as it casts a much brighter glow off of these purple sands there's a almost a heat out here in this desert that you haven't felt before as you all stare around on top of a dune looking out inside of an endless desert no rock outcropping to be found here Only the sound in the distance. <clears throat> Strange beast of burden off in the distance. They look like a full buffalo, but with the humps of a camel up over its back long eldritch style horns that spiral up like a rams that have gone out of control and up further and you can see them all saddled and packed Xander roll a history check through for you guys mm -hmm. okay sorry negative oh it did not you don't see the 23 in history damn that's rough <laughs> history check 23 i see it yeah i see it i see it too oof 
Is that a refresh on my end, or is that fresh oh. on yours? Nope, it's mine. It's mine. I had a, a window open. It doesn't update if I have the, the, the main window and something else. Yeah, 23. My bad. <laughs> Good roll. Good roll. Good roll. I mean, I could have re-rolled it for 20, but it's fine. It's been a really, really long time. Really long time. But you remember old merchants as a child that would stop by on the backs of these strange creatures. More importantly, they would carry goods from places or from spots that you wouldn't expect inside the desert or the shadow fell. In particular, you remember small frozen treats. Like small little bits of like frozen cheesecake or fudge sickles that would come particularly from what you would reference as a bag of colding now. But these were an eclectic set of merchants that sold wares that could only arrive generally from them as they were obviously well-traveled. Some sort of connection to these animals and traveling uh, multi-dimensional. You realize that that is your form of travel now, blending in with a time that further reaches than your own memory. Welcome to the Swan's Truck of D&D. Whoa. Yeah, that certainly fits. Okay. If all of this worked as intended, then we're... Everything that I would have known or would not have known hasn't happened yet. This is old, old past. But at least we have fellow travelers with us. Do you happen to know how far past? Or no? I heard something. When I called out, I, uh... I sat and thought and hoped there'd be something, but I don't recognize quite what this is. I know it's old, but... No, aside from that, not much. Like older than us? Older than all of us. Older than anything I know. It's also worth remembering, Shadowfell time is different from normal time. You can sit and wait and thousands of generations could pass, or it could be nothing. I think also, uh, it's hard to measure because, well, back there, Mitros has played with the whole damn thing. Who knows what it is now? Either way, here we are, and, well, I don't know what to expect, I'll be completely honest. But I could hear something out there in the desert. It called back when I called out. Characteristic as it might seem, it was only a whisper. But I know something's there. Meantime, I think they have... Hmm, I'm gonna <laughs> perception check to see if Toph still looks as though they're covered in, like, snickerdoodle whatever from previous times <clears throat> because yeah <laughs> fair that one hey, thank Tolf, you do you do you do you want sweet treats i think i i don't know if you've had anything recently but sweet treats sometimes i remember caravaneers like them they, they tend to have tr sweet treats i love sweet treats and almost instinctively Toph is going to duplicate the sound that he hears the animals making Ooh! as best as oh. he can. And Nelson's 1,000% 1, 1, chiming in on that. Ooh. 
Mm. I think they're coming this way. I don't know if they are. <laughs> Does it sound like they're getting closer? What? <laughs> like a like a like a line of tauntauns when you guys start making those calls. In particular, Nelson helping boister yours. Go ahead, roll a performance stuff. I absolutely will. Or uh, na- be- or you can do nature too. Oh, nature or performance. Mm. You're good at nature, right? <laughs> uh, oh yeah. Twenty-one. Oh yeah. Who needs a Nelson? Mm. Nelson's mimicking your tauntaun call. That's right. <laughs> okay, oh, Nelson. Shut oh, fuck. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> okay. But uh, you guys sound like a great, great bunch of space buffalo. Is one call back to me? Am I talking to them? I rolled a thirty-three. Yeah. <laughs> mm. And Nelson mm-hmm. has an exchange, mm-hmm. but he doesn't understand it because he's just copying whatever the thing he, it probably hates him for just like repeating what it's saying back to him. Xandrin, it, it took you a minute, but you can remember their names. Glahogs, G-L-A-A-H-O-G. G-L-H-A, you said? I'm gonna note this down somewhere. Uh, can you just put it in our doc? <laughs> Here you go. I'll just copy and paste. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Glahawks. Mm-hmm. It's been a hot minute since I've seen one of those. Do I know if these things are... I presume these things are just beasts of burden. burden. They're no more dangerous than like a horse or a cow. As long as you don't like do something stupid with it you're not gonna oh yeah yeah. they're 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 saddled and look equipped you can you can tell by the line of them that this is the doing of draxus really oh shit this is your travel how about that i'm gonna go ahead and you can tell by the, the little bit of a purple tint on the saddles and you can see in some of the leather work that's in Grayman, you can see dragon patterns to it. You've gone to a time before anyone has ever seen a spell jammer. I'm going to sort of just like reach out, touch the saddle of one and psychically think in its direction. Is this you, big guy? You around here somewhere? I'm going to presume that it's just a tauntaun, whatever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> whatever its name much. it is, it just spoke uh, Glauhoggy into you. <laughs> Ooh. It. No, he is not. Uh, he's not omnipresent with the with the animals. One sec. Nice to meet you too, buddy. I'm just going to kind of like pat the thing and... <laughs> He's gonna, yeah, he's gonna sort of take it to the wing momentarily and just mount the mount the thing and be like, "All right, everybody, uh, this 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 looks like the way to go. Uh, mount up, I, I guess, I, I suppose." Toph will quickly hop on top of the head, uh, in between the antlers of one of them. Love, you can't keep in the same one who gets up there first. Just Why not? Mind you. <laughs> ah, I already called this one. <laughs> How many glow hogs are there? One for everybody. Oh, sick. Nice. Nelson's kind of walks up to him as if they're friends and they give like a nod and like a nuzzle. Uh, Animal handling check. Think, makes you think they've like ever like met, you know? Oh, I don't have animal handling. Fuck. I thought it'd be nature. Ooh. No, not good enough. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're, it doesn't, uh, you don't, you don't get hooked, you know? You, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it just looks like you, Nelson's over there talking sweet nothings to this, you know, yeah, this yeah, glow yeah. hog. Uh, Reggie, uh, 
Richie comes back over your way, Xanrin. I, uh, I remember these. <laughs> they're, uh, they're, they're tastier than what they look. Mm. Yeah, uh, hold that thought just in case we ever need to make it out of the desert, survivalist style. For the moment, uh, make friends, uh, not food. I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> uh, Are you sure? Uh, uh, we don't have any of the barrels of food we did back on the spell, Jammer. I'll treat my meals on wheels well. <laughs> we're eating them? No, Toss we're not. says was a look of panic. Reggie's no, no, gonna come no, over no. over towards your glow hog, and he's gonna open up the side saddle pouch, and I want you to roll a one d ten. Oh, ooh, ooh, ten! That rolled ah. everywhere. Oh, the secret. <laughs> As you Secret reach, is... <laughs> you reach into this uh, into this pack. And you pull out a small white and chocolate striped confectionery. <gasps> you have a small zebra cake. I love those. Oh my gosh! I mean, Toph loves those. <laughs> um, do Toph may not have actually known what these are, considering this is not like a home baked item. <laughs> do I need to roll like a history check? I think that, or I can tell I, it's like clearly something edible. I think he would crack it open for you to show that it's this this uh, delicious cream filled cake pastry to show you out of pure excitement These not even bothering good. thank you and Toph is just going to eat it out of his hand <laughs> not even taking it into his own paws he's just going to eat it out of his hand Biddy's just watching mouth agape giving up at this point <laughs> my paws were dirty <laughs> uh. I don't, gonna kill yourself doing this. I don't blame her. They're delicious. Mm. Use your ashram, Toph says with cheeks very full. Is anything happening to Toph <laughs> before we indulge? That's a fair point. Am I like the animal testing here? No. <laughs> You're the guinea pig. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's Other... test it on these rats here. Other than a good old fashioned sugar rush. Yeah. No, there's just these suckers are packed down with interdimensional treats from the multiverse. Cool. Biddy walks around to your same claw hog and stuffs her hand in with yours, probably like fiddling around for a second trying to find one. And she's gonna pull one out and um Probably inspect it at first. Not really looking for anything, just to look at it because it's bitty. And then just pop it in her mouth. Very sweet. They're good. Seeing the satchels loaded up, I'm gonna do the same. See what see what I find. Are we see gonna have to You do can we need to pay for these? <laughs> you can draw on any of ancient items you can think of in convenience store lore or old grocery stores of long gone the fruit pies, nutter butters, strange, strange candies of the past. Like a little moon cake, you know? That's what I. That's what I think. I, I, I'd end up pulling out full on yeah, moon I, pie. I mean, like um, you know, it, it's small, it's edible. Like, 
something you could probably like cut in half and you'd have like two mouthfuls worth there if you're really, really going at it. I don't know. Something nice, small, sweet. Got that lovely kind of like sweet, sla uh, savory mix of flavors there. Uh -huh. Oh man. Rom digs in his, he pulls out a tin of uh, of Royal Donsk, but instead they're callous selected colors instead of the Royal Blue and Gold as he opens up that tin of savory holiday butter cookies. Oh, I haven't had these in so long. <laughs> Where? I don't even know. I don't even know what to say, Xandrin. What? what yeah, uh, multiverse merchant travelers, they bring all sorts of strange things. I don't, don't ask, I don't have answers, but while we're here, certainly couldn't hurt to try some things, you know? Expand the taste buds. <laughs> Every now and then when people dip in, you accidentally pulling up, pull up some of those odd strawberry uh, <laughs> twist candies that your grandmother used to have. Those are kind of like the packing peanuts that helps sort things in here. No one's really intentionally trying to go in and grab them, but every now and then you get a handful of them. They're like individually wrapped candy corn. <laughs> Renwick, you remember these? Brom comes over with a mouthful of his <laughs> tin cookies. Uh, mm, I can't say that I remember the taste. No. <laughs> Um, looks disappointed that he can't connect with somebody on a on an old <laughs> level. Aww. Oh no! Oh, yeah, I got an acquired acquired taste, I guess. Uh, yes, uh, no, nothing personal. I'm just uh, uh, not much of a sweet tooth. <laughs> More of a savory kind of guy. I understand that. Oh, what I do for some chicks mix right now? <laughs> oh, oh. Uh. He solemnly wanders back over to his glow hog. Uh, Nelson has discovered that the hides of these glow hogs are infested and is going to town in there. <laughs> Perfect. A lot of sand mites for you to get, my dude. Brom, these glow hogs are like a buffet. <laughs> All right, bro. I imagine you're going to make your glow hog very happy. You see, kind of cringes at the first, here's that first crack of the exoskeleton. <laughs> These things like, oh, those are larger than what he thought. Oh God. And then he's like, Whoa! just like brushing himself down a little bit. Uh, his is not nearly as invested and he's thankful for it. Hey, you, uh, what, hey when you get done, uh, Buffet is open over here as well. Oh, we could be, we would be great riding partners. Uh, the news though, like, Brom hasn't gotten up on this glow hog yet. He's been eyeing it up. Oh, does he need help? Oh, oh, oh no. It's, tell me and don't tell anyone. Uh, it's one of those where he's like, okay, you're looking at it. You're trying to find the best way to get out of the pool. You're kind of oh, looking, yeah, you're looking yeah, for yeah. the ladder, you're looking for the ladder, because you know if it's like, well, if I get out over here, this is just me, I'm I'm shamooing it, I'm tucking and rolling, like I'm throwing myself <laughs> over the side, I'm going for the roll. It's just that it's not going to look very heroish. So he's getting himself set in the saddle. He's more of a ram rider, you know? More of a battle yeah. boar kind of guy. A little bit, a uh, little, <laughs> little low rider, you know? These, these things got a little bit longer legs. It's, if anybody's looking, they can kind of see you. Uh, he gets himself uh, gets a foot in there and then it, it's uh, I think Thomas might run over and try to give you a boost <sighs> Thomas is going to give me a boost but I have no idea that he gave me a boost <laughs> I think that I think that right. I just Robert Redford the fuck on top of this just <clears throat> Just like perfect. Like I got great posture as it goes up. I have no idea that he just, this little sand skipper and then nosed my foot up over across. Yeah, yeah, just, ha, 
Ah, uh, just like riding rams back home. <laughs> ah. It is? Yeah. What of you? What of you? There are more plant life than uh, what there ever was from your visit or you were calling Xanarin. There's much more desert cacti and flowers and little outcroppings. And you can see in particular, some spots in the distance kind of look like an oasis in between here. The sand is still very, very purple, but it has a different glint to it with so much light. It just looks different. It's uh, it's like the first time that you uh, change the lighting in your room. Not really knowing much about where the heading should be. It's kind of thought going through Xenarin's head is like, well, I guess we'd head towards the oasis. But then he sits there and pulls out a psychic knife and sees if there's anything that he can hear, if there's any kind of residual whispers that can guide a direction. I guess the question is, would you like me to roll like a perception check or a spell attack, or is that just a thing? Let's use your, uh, let's use your psychic die, man. Let's use your psychic die as a compass and see where, uh, what it tunes to. Okay, I mean, it's a d10, so I guess... 1d20 uh, plus 10. Oh, oh, okay, all right then. Uh, let's do that. Oh, 1d20 20 plus 10, okay. There we go. Oh, there we are. 28, like an old dowsing rod, trying to find water. Xander, you listen to the vibrations. It's what got you here in the first place. You're here to find the corruption before it gets to the rock. What are you focusing on? He's focusing and listening for the thing that guided him here in the first place. Whilst calling out in the ceremony, there was something that called back and helped to alter his hand that sort of drove him in the direction of the Shadowfell instead of to another destination. He's listening for that same whisper and listening to see if it's still there to guide. And if he does hear it, he will follow. That's In weird. this case, you don't hear a whisper, but you get a strong sense for a heading. And you turn to where almost magnetically it feels where this dagger is pulling towards. Off in the distance, you can see some fan-like palms. Whatever is this way is what your ancestral dagger is calling to. Huh. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just do this for a little flavor. Hmm. Makes sense. I suppose, considering the time. It's, uh, hmm. You ever have that experience where you hear someone's footsteps coming, and if you're family and if you lived there for a long time, you can just tell who it is? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whispers uh, like that. You can sort of tell what's going on. You can tell the lines apart. You can tell what's what. But this, it doesn't feel like any of them. This is before any of their times. It's before it's all established. It's like a set of footprints you've never heard before. Either way, this way. I'm just sort of going to start slowly leading on. Mm. Biddy's gonna 
Just put her foot probably one of the little um I don't know what they're called to get up on horses and stuff. Stir up, thank you. Yeah, and uh, swing herself around it. A little bit of struggle. She kind of stops halfway. Her foot's like sitting there in the air because she's got to like scoot herself a little bit more on top since her legs are very average sized. And then she resituates herself and grabs, kind of gets the, the good posture, the thing that's going around. So she sits up really nice and straight. <laughs> and she just follows. Kind of glancing back at Tom, like, or no, Tom, Toph. Like, <laughs> I was going to say Thomas for a second. And I was like, absolutely not. I'm talking to Toph. <laughs> <laughs> what? No. Uh, Toph will sit backwards on his. I'm going to keep an eye on our butts and make sure no one gets us from the caboose. So he will sit backwards and keep an eye out guarding while he stuffs zebra cakes in his mouth still. You know, it's not a bad you, way like, to go. Try to grab your thing. Yeah. <laughs> like lead you. <laughs> yeah. Me do. Uh... The handle on your saddle and you being small enough kind of fits in the small of your back like a lumbar. So you can yeah. kind of like, you're just chilling. Yeah. This is good. <laughs> what an image. Buddy posted up, just eating zebra cakes on the, on the back of the. Just... I'm working though, okay? <laughs> Everyone know I'm working. I'm looking for things. Hardcore perceiving. Yes, yes. You, no, I'm sorry. This this requires the perception roll, otherwise. <laughs> oh, deal. I will. And it's gonna blow you away at um, how good uh, my perception roll is gonna be. <laughs> Manifest it. I wanna see it. Wanna it see is it. just the best. <laughs> the 15. <laughs> oh, that's not it's, bad. That's not bad. That's, that's the best you could get in a desert, okay? I don't have goggles on. What did you expect? <laughs> Give me goggles and I'll see things better. <laughs> you all form the long line headed through the sands. All trusting that Xanarin knows where the hell he's going. Anything you want to be doing in the desert while you currently travel? I don't know why, but Toph feels compelled to leave a crumb trail. So every now and then he's going to leave a few zebra cake crumbs behind as the caboose. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, is that even gonna do anything? It's a desert, like I know, I know, and they're tan crumbs, but the the sand is purple, so it will stand out a little. I mean, anybody There's a that little sees moisture in the cakes, your small little mammals and lizards that, like, over time as we go far enough passed away, like little bits scurry through the desert and <laughs> pick do these things up as we go. Of like lizards following us now. You got a lizard Congo line. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, man. Instead of seagulls at the beach, I have lizards in the desert. An army of Rangos. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, seeing as we have some time to kill, I'm going to call back to Toph. Hey, Toph. You remember those music boxes that we were trying to get open? You still got well, one of those? I'm not doing anything, and he's going to stuff the <laughs> zebra cakes back in. Uh, what? <laughs> Nothing. I was going to... Uh... Music boxes. Not <gasps> food. Do you still oh. have those? <laughs> I have one left, but it's the last one because I gave the other one away. Mm. Do you want to take another crack at trying to open that? Yeah. It's broken, so I have that one. I also have those little uh, things that I got from the dragon's place, the gold puzzle boxes we could open too. Oh yeah, that, sorry, I should have clarified. That's what I was asking for. Okay, that's okay. And you can see that Toph is just pulling out trinket after trinket after trinket in his bag. That's <laughs> it's a bit of a Mary Poppins bag on its own sort. <laughs> Oh, okay, that's the one you were looking for. Yeah, you can come hop over on my, my, my Thomas. 
not knowing what the name of his creature is. Uh, hmm. Uh, considering that they've already got the heading and it's heading in the correct direction, I think I'm going to go ahead and fly back in the in the column, sort of over in the vague direction of the Glauhog that currently has Toph. Mm-hmm. And pass the thief's tools. Now, do you want me to help on this one, or do you want to give it a try all by yourself? I guess I should ask for help, because I'm not supposed to do anything on my own right now. All right. Let's try this one more time. <laughs> And uh, again, I'm going to try and share that knowledge of Thieves' Tools and see what happens, because <laughs> Toph's mom don't like that. Toph is going to wrap his ears entirely around this just little contraption, hoping to hear any of the clicks and spins a little bit better. I love that image, by the way. That's absolutely adorable. Just a little wrapped around. <laughs> Advantage on your roll, like, like metal detectors. Oh, that's great. Yes, yes, exactly. Um, let's see here. Oh, Hero Forge, or not Forge? Uh, Foundry just kicked me out. Hold on. I just rolled a second ago. No. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Okay. What? Um, while I'm bringing it up. What am I rolling? Is it? I must log in. I was logged in. Did that to me earlier too? Let me in. This is my first puzzle. Um, this is your uh, your learning of thieves tools. Okay. With Xanarin. So I can't remember mm. if he's gotten you to proficient yet or not. Uh, half proficiency. Yes. Um, from the coach before the yawning portal. Proficiency is what we're working on. So what do I roll for that? Uh, I it's half your, it's 20 plus half your proficiency. 20, uh, half my proficiency. Okay, so two and a half. Two and a half. You get to roll this with advantage because Xanarin's trying to help. So it'll be uh, d20 plus three. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, there it is. 35. Ah! No, I'm just kidding. It's 22. And the DC was 18. There it is. Boom. It clicks open. I did it, and his ears pop up all of a sudden. And Xanarin, they might slap you in the face if you were also listening just as closely. One second. Let's see what happens with that. Uh, just about dodge it ish. Atta boy, Toph. I did it. All right. You got, I, I love the way you did the fundamentals there too. You kept everything well away from the mechanisms, mm -hmm. but you also kept it well within small of your hand where you have all that control. Well yeah. Done. I listened with my ears and I found out that helped. Mm, good job. Now, let's see what's in this thing. Toph, I guess, twists it open just to see what would be on the inside. <laughs> this is the small music box, right? No, no, no. This is one of the contraptions, the puzzle boxes that I got from the Dragon's Horde. Hmm, in that case. <laughs> one, one of two that I picked up. I need to roll a D100. I love that. Ooh. I'm sorry now if I found a new like genie of sorts monster thing. Look, listen, I'm I'm sure whatever bad thing happens, we will encounter it together and it will be fine. A 64. On toes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a look. Uh <laughs> <laughs> How many blinks will Robert have before we get an answer? You find the deck of many things. <laughs> These are things that exclusively Caustic should never have Whoa, for any of their characters. God. Toph playing 52 pickup with a deck of many things. Listen. You ever think about, to... you know, luck in that roll or... Uh... Ooh. I don't know if I have a luck. I no, do you, you can't want one. really luck what you don't know. 
I'm oh. just going for it. These, I, I'm gonna let the dice do their damage. I was, I mean, I could oh, give you a d10 of inspiration <laughs> from Thomas. Doesn't work. Oh. Uh, I'm well, so excited. Please. Well, he said it wasn't the last episode, y'all, but I think it was a lie. <laughs> Plot armor taken away. <laughs> You can't make this up. What if the 764 lizard? Oh my fucking god. Please no. don't make it a rabbit fur coat or something. Oh, please tell me it's not a rabbit's fur. I swear to god. <laughs> Did you open up this box? They're held perfectly in place. Just hovering in the middle of it is a black pyramid, a sticky black pyramid that smells of incense. As it has been burned. How? You found a piece of the symbiote on a D100 list that I don't use <laughs> is beyond me. I told you, Tiny and I are best friends. We can't be separated. Um, but there it is. Not again. Do I see this in time to make a reaction of some kind? I'm so sorry. Perception check like a mofo. It is a pyramid of sticky black movable incense that smells bad. <laughs> is this burnt? Oh piece of the symbiote. I am the chaos of this story. <laughs> this is a, tr by the way, this is a trinket table. Okay. You're, you're one away from an alabaster mask. Okay. I could use both. <laughs> This is a sleight of hand between Toph and Xanarin. What happens first? Oh boy, you lay down the line, Becca. Okay, I will, I will go first and hopefully then you can beat me. Sleight of hand it is. Okay, that's- 13. That's, that's doable, <laughs> that's doable. Is it? Okay, fine. Less sleight of hand, more sleight of leg. Xanrin kicks off the Glauhog with one foot and immediately boots the fucking thing out of Toph's hand with the other into the air. Uh, and what? as far away from us as possible, and immediately I'm throwing my goddamn sickle at that thing. If you will let me, I don't know if you'll let me. For a second. Let me uh, make a roll. Oh fuck! No. Tiny is alive. It's initiative, no, everyone. No. It's gonna be on your owl foot like venom. <laughs> oh god. You remember Shut when uh, he told us we shouldn't be afraid or anything? Yeah. yeah. I, 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 We're not gonna be in combat. What are you talking about? A nice I didn't realize that it was Toph was the reason. The, year. <laughs> the shadow here. <laughs> always. <laughs> you forgot about Toph. Well, actually, just... it was it's either Toph or Xander, and let's be real. Yeah. Okay, who started the first bar fight we had, Biddy? Who <laughs> 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 jumped straight into Mitros's chest? Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize that I, my echo would be. <laughs> 
Here is okay, the line. Fine, shut up. <laughs> oh, oh, thank God. Oh. oh. Okay. Yes. Oh, he there is never. It. There's never been a better net one of all time. You hit this and close that box as it goes rolling into the sand and settles closed. Unmoved, not a speck out of its box. What'd you do that for? I just got it open. Mother of... Ugh, feathers! Fucking symbiotes! Oh. Why is it always symbiotes? I'm gonna fly over to the box and gingerly pick it up and try and store it in a place where I know that it's not gonna do any damn harm. The fucking symbiotes! Uh, you know, Toph is gonna whisper oh. from Biddy, learning that word from, from Xanrin. <laughs> if there is any way to lock the damn thing again, I'm going to lock it. <laughs> so let's put it that way. We're gonna lock it as tight as possible and throw away the thieves' tools we used to open this fucking thing. <laughs> Do you want the other one? Toph is going to regretfully hold up his other puzzle box. I'm I, I'm 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 totally focused on this one. But if you're not paying look, attention, then I'm gonna slip it back in my bag. Yep. I'm, I'm focused on the devil I know right now. Man, we... How have we done this? On a fucking D100 table, how have we ended up here? <laughs> this is incredible. We go through time and space, and I've decided to bring it back earlier. The only Double back in time. Double back in time. <laughs> back in time, <laughs> Edgeception. The only consistent thing in the space-time continuum is oh. Toph's chaos orange. You're <laughs> welcome. Oh. Is everything going to be okay? I'll be honest, not a damn clue, but... Fuck, if this thing's been on us the whole time... Mm, trouble. Do you think it's like a magnet and it attracts them? I don't know what it does, but I don't trust that everything going on here isn't known now. This is the same damn thing. So did I bring like a new infestation? I mean, no one could have known. We could have carried those things back and forth with us for ages until you'd gotten it. Just so happened to be here that it opened up. Oh, God, what are the odds? Uh, one okay. out of a hundred, actually. Sort of stares at you quizzically, <laughs> does the owl tilt, doesn't think anything of it. All right, well, uh, best thing we can do is throw this damn thing in a bag of holding. So, Come here, Thomas! Yeah. I think they killed Tom. I think Robert took away my bag of holding. Yeah, yeah. but I was still going to shove it down to Thomas's. <laughs> Thomas will m march over happily. Um, yeah. Zanrin, perhaps you should open the other one. Or not. Um, uh, maybe. Um, I could have other good things in it. Maybe it's something that can swallow it. But whatever's in the inside, if it's not tiny, then I get to keep it. Because I found it and I asked for it and I brought it with me. I've been carrying it this whole time. Oh, dude. Oh, God. I'll let why you open we, my present. Why don't we Can... see what's inside first? Oh, yeah. You know what? I take it back. It is better to know about these things so we can actually deal with it as opposed to letting it fester. If a second of these has come along, I would like to know. But And maybe... if I'm carrying it? If you're carrying... Mm. Zenrin is going to sit there and wonder if there's any way to see if something is alive inside the box. He's going to go ahead and after having locked the first one firmly as he can and thrown it inside one of the spare bags, uh, he's going to grab that other one and do an investigation check. Shake it really hard. Oh my fucking god, it rolled off one. Oh. <laughs> 
And this Ooh. is a check for? To see if I can determine if there is something alive inside the second box, aka the symbiote. Off, I need a D100 from you. Yeah. 60. Let Get away from the 60s. <laughs> Let it be known, I did not open the box. I wanted that mask. What is that face? We were one away from danger again. I'm not, <laughs> not even shitting you. 50, oh 59 God. was a rabbit's foot. We were one away from fucking <laughs> oh danger. My God. This is fucking. <laughs> Can we ever roll on this table again, please? This is awful. There's Leave a, this table in 2022. There's literally a crystal doorknob on this thing, okay? Like, there's there's half of it's antiquing junk, and the other half is like, oh, well, that could probably uh, potentially be Eldritch Doom. Um, oh, well, you know, it's, it's fine. I could have gotten the old child's toy that's just missing an ear, or alternatively, <laughs> you could have found the shard of Neol Echotech. You know, that's fine. It's, it's fine. Like Oh, yeah. Bless you. The missing ear, by the way, stolen by Biddy. It's fine. That makes sense. I collect him. You don't mm -hmm. think there's anything alive in this box. It, whatever's in it seems to roll back and forth. Gingerly, knowing that it doesn't sound like there's anything squishy, Xanarin's going to take his thieves' tools and delicately as he ever possibly can try and open that bad boy. Sorry, this has got to be a D&D &D Beyond one because I don't have Thieves tools as a custom, anything but a custom skill. Soon in the new year. Oh, it's actually going to be a thing in Foundry? Yes, I'm going to have everything. We're going to be completely off sheets in the new year. We'll have Ooh, all of our goodies there. Exciting. 20. Opening up this small box, there's a small glass orb leaning to one corner. Oh, what is it? Toph is going to reach out and touch it with both paws. Um, can I try? Can I try and hold Toph back with the dark eye arm until we've been able to determine what it is? Nope, slide a hand. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. So better, honestly. That's fine by me. Let's do this. Yeah, you are. You have an insane sleight of hand. Dang it. Yeah, he's, he's... Roguish bullshit. Four. Oh. Four. <laughs> I was so close. I was so close with that nineteen. Almost. <sighs> It was a roller coaster. It rolled onto a one and then onto a 19 and then onto a three on my screen. And I was like, what is happening? <laughs> Dang this it. It's not good. Cold to the touch, you remove this small glass eye. Can I roll an investigation or arcana check or something to see what this is? Or do we just know? You stare down at it and the iris is cross-shaped. I'm sorry, the pupil is cross-shaped. The iris is like a sunburst on like a 70s guitar. It's that hazel brown to orange. Did we just find the eye of Sauron? <laughs> Arcana check. Oh, there we go. Nat 20. There we are. Oof. You can tell that this isn't just a normal glass eye. That's got about a half inch layer of resin around a basilisk's eye. You can use this as the same property of paralysis that they do. Oh my God. You just have to focus it on your palm and direct it towards your target. Is 
Is it just a stupid eyeball? If so, mm. you can keep it. I don't want it. Yeah, right. sure. I mean, it's just an eye after all. It's, it's fine. I'm going to immediately throw it in my duster and, and remember where it is. And if there is like a clasp on that thing, I'm going to clasp it and then sew it shut and burn it shut. <laughs> Toff proof it. I don't know. <laughs> Eat it. Yeah, that would we'll definitely. I'm not tight. Yeah. yeah. And when it comes out, clean it off, eat it again. That's how you just keep it storaged. Cycle. Yeah. I only suspect that the more things that are taken away from Toph, the more things that will be acquired. What <laughs> must come out? This is a uh, this is science here. I'm now emptied two puzzle boxes, so I will be searching for more things to fill in my knapsack. I'm gonna find a new table. Is what I'm gonna find. <laughs> please please find a table that is free of a rabbit's foot and symbiote all of it that's what you get a oh, half man. pack of bazooka gum this thing's over here trying to ensure death uh using the basilisk guy is that uh, what, what's the action economy and stuff on that action economy in dc uh i'll have to pull a basilisk card but yeah i can get there okay so whenever you whenever you can i'm noting it down yeah, you just put Basilisk and we'll be able to get the properties off the card. Nice. DC 12 con. Oh, hell yeah. There we go. And uh, that'll be upped for our game, so it'll be a DC 15. Cool, 15. Okay, all right then. Cool. Oh, we got any more secrets hiding back here? Oh. Rom is sweating. Pulled his glow hog back around. I'm gonna look at Toph and be like, I don't know. Are, are there any more secrets? Uh, I mean, those are the only things I brought with me. I can find some more if you want. What's worse is. Somebody found part of this thing somewhere, sometime. And that got back to Draxus's horde. God, I oh wish God. we. I wish we could still talk to him right now. Is, has someone been there? Was it planted? Was it. Is it just all one wild ass coincidence? I. So, how do you, if it's been there for God knows how long, it could have been seeding the world for, I don't know how long that thing's been closed, but I mean, it was in a dragon's horde. Could have been hundreds, thousands of years. I don't want to insult your intelligence, Xandrin. I can. You don't. He rolls his eyes, looks over at Toph. <laughs> It's, you don't think your psychic daggers betrayed you? You mean, you don't think we were led here by the, oh, oh no. Can I do like an investigation or spell attack to see if the Ica, the symbio Ica has affected my daggers in any way? Try. Oh, well, uh, I don't know what I'm going with here, so spell attack it is. Damn, okay. You manifest the psychic dagger. There's nothing symbiotic about it. There's only the manifestation that you've ever seen, but in the back of your head, the fact this thing has always been able to communicate with you, whatever connection on a level that it has with psionics, believes there's a possibility of it having influence. 
because it spoke to everyone the same way that you can. Whatever natural psionics that it has are part of the same powers that you manifest. Like, it, do you you're, mean Mitros? You're both psionic imbued creatures. And in that fact, there is a partial connection. But you don't know whether your psychic daggers under the influence of any individual. You have no instance or data to prove that it has always functioned as you've believed that your psionics function but the doubt that's what creeps in your head did you understand the responsibility that comes with planeswalking you thought that you've come here serve and benefit and unknowingly you may have just become the reason in the contagion I'll be honest with you Brom it's I can't sense that it's any different from before but I mean how long has that thing been sitting inside the puzzle box Right? It could be no different from before, but it could always have been like that. It's not been unknown for creatures with psychic powers to get hunted. Mitros goes on and on all the time about consuming psychic energy. Maybe he's been spying on people for a long time. Maybe the cadre has always been a target. If it has, if he's somehow gotten into the corruption of it all, then what I even know. Psionics are a strange bird. Anybody that stepped out of the Underdark can tell you that. Everyone has a story of a dwarf that's been lost to the mines back in the mountains. Ones that have come back. Touched by those things. Warped by the drow, the dark irons, or they lithids themselves. These things change. I'll be honest, you're the first person I've met that's been able to keep their own mind, most driven by madness. Where I can understand you start delving into multiple worlds, timelines, doing. The things that we're doing now, things don't make sense. And all of a sudden, we get ourselves caught in a web. Let's mm. do our damnedest to make sure that we don't make that web. At the mention of the word web, Xanarin thinks back to a memory. I'm gonna spend a mind's eye card. Yes. In the moment when he was last battling the weird moor, that giant worm, he stands there and he thinks that he's beaten it, side by side with an old friend called Yanalth. Another Alkin, but not at all related to the Cartre. And then they realize that it's not beaten, it's just contained and trapped. There is a narrow canyon where this thing has been ravaging, trying to get at the both of them. And suddenly, a bridge, a gateway, opens up behind Zanrin, and he falls through. And he falls through what seems to be an endless darkness. Falling continually, until at last, 
He softly lands without even intending to on a spit of sand. A random bit of ground out in the middle of nowhere. And as his eyes adjust, the starlight overhead is all he can see. Then, a booming voice out in the darkness, in a language he can't understand. It seems at first to be questioning, and then accusatory. And he doesn't know what to do, he doesn't know what to respond, he doesn't even know if it's talking to him. But the noise gets louder and louder and louder. And slowly, as he tries to block out the loud noise surrounding him, in terrifying confusion, a whisper comes in the back of his mind. And slowly it speaks softly, and gives instruction. And it tells more of what to do. And slowly he pulls out his psychic blades, the only thing that can light that darkness, even a little bit. And he starts to take down instruction. And slowly, without realizing, he traces his first ever circle. The first time he has ever conducted a ceremony without knowing what he is doing. On this dark space of land, he finishes it, and it lights for the first time. And not one, not two, but four portals open, all of them off in different directions on the spit of land. The first he sees his old home, his original home back in the Feywild, the great trees of Alavara felled again on the side of that cliff, still smoldering. The second he sees the fight where he was just standing side by side with Yanauth, the Weirdmoor still ravaging. In the third, there is a darkness even deeper than the one that surrounds him, darker than blood, and he can't see it, but imperceptibly, there are these wicked eyes staring back at him with a gleeful smile. Remembering back, Zanrin now remembers that smile and understands it was Mitros. Through the second door, he sees that the moor has turned around again, has noticed the portal, and it's charging down the canyon towards him. Yanauth is no longer in sight, he doesn't know where he is, and so he stares back to the only other door that's left, the fourth gateway. And on the other side, he sees a city that he's been to before, in a temple that he's never been inside, but he can recognize from the architecture. He sees the Temple of Gond. He sees strange, stationary, glassy-eyed cultists standing in a bell tower. He sees a man with diamond eyes, and he sees a strange party of adventurers. And as a halfling shatters an entrance on the other side and falls through, Zanrin takes his only escape and walks out into the Temple of Gond. Hey. Hey, buddy. Uh, you know, yeah, yeah. Blazed over there a bit. I didn't want you to drop that, uh, that eye of yours. Yeah, um... Nah, just, uh, thinking back, I don't... Yeah, sorry, lost in, lost in thought. I understand it. My last question for you. Hmm? And this is all on you. This is up to you. You trust your heading. You believe in it. Because where you go, we will follow. You trust your family, right, Brom? Not damn a right. judgmental question. Just, I'm going to point back to the oasis that we've been heading towards. I don't know if there's some long-rooted thing deep in the line, but that feels familiar. When I was going down the tunnel with you lot, to the Underdark, 
I, when I passed between, I, I remember Kalia, she pulled me back. There was a, there was an oasis. And she told me it's not your time yet. I don't know where the hell we are, but maybe that feels right. And even if it's not, then what difference does it make? We come here, if it is corruption, we burn it out. If it's not, we find a way to burn it out at some point in the future. Ultimately, I don't think it matters. No matter where we wander, our path is set. It's just a question of whether that oasis is a mirage or not. No matter what, just glad I've got you all by my side. Okay. There you go. We will follow. And where you follow, I'll do my best to keep you all safe. Even if I need to keep you safe from myself. Sort of slowly, somberly, and with a lot of contemplation, Zanrin's gonna move towards with his Glauhog and continue following. So who has Pandora's box? Oh, uh, the fucking box with the symbiote in it? Yeah. Fuck, I stashed that in one of my fucking bags and put it in a secure thing and locked that motherfucker tight. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> I have confiscated it from, from the child. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, you also start things. I hope you secured it properly. Well, I mean, Robert didn't make me roll for it at the time, so I gotta presume I did. I mean, it's got its own natural latch. Mm-hmm, you know. It was unlocked, it can be locked again, it's fine. It didn't get out before, as best I know. It's fine. And things in transit never get jumbled around or accidentally nah, open. Never. never. Especially not when they're just, yeah, I mean, I did kick it closed, but yeah. Yeah. Was yeah. there a key? <laughs> Thieves tools. You fool! <laughs> you fool! <laughs> you fool! <laughs> As you unsettlingly get back into your caravan mode, heading off in the distance. Cough, I want you to roll. A perception check as you okay. go back to your goodies another. because I feel as if probably nothing has changed in your attitude. <laughs> I'm perfectly fine, unbothered <laughs> by any of this. The woes of the world have no impact on me right now. It is a nat one. I am happily content paying attention to nothing but my zebra cakes. It is the last episode. Oh. <laughs> uh, not this again. <laughs> I am the most reliable character in this game. Oh my god. Might be actual last episode. Uh, Over period of time my... of tearing off one for cough, <laughs> one for the beast of the field. Unbeknownst to everyone else. Slowly, our pack of small animals gathered to larger animals to larger monitor lizard going and snacking on another smaller lizard. We've created a little bit of a bio trail here. Yay. No. I never disrupt environments. <laughs> and his cough is chowing down on this zebra cake. This is 100% Xanran's fault because I did admit that I was not doing anything and that should have been a red flag. That large monitor lizard pulled 
underneath the sands. <laughs> I don't notice. I just keep dropping more crumbs. <sighs> so now on, what do you expect me to do? <laughs> Xanry. I actually drop a whole cupcake. <laughs> yep. I need you to make a d20 plus 10 roll. With disadvantage. That's the uh, same as my spell attack, so just throw two of those bad boys out there. <gasps> Stop! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Meteorian Core finale. <laughs> Don't say that. No. <laughs> Thank God, dude. Oh my fucking god. Shook to the core from everything that has just transpired with the box. Questioning yourself if you're headed in the right direction. Your mind is full of everything that you think you should be focusing on. And it strikes so quick and happens so fast that all you hear is the squeak of Toph as a purple sandworm hits his glow hog as Toph and Zebra Cake are jettisoned in the air. No. No. As it pulls it down, kicking into the sand. Thomas, too. You stand feet away from the mythical creature of your nightmares. Can I throw it the two zebra cakes in my hand at it? You are prone over in the sand dune over here. That's a perfect place for a paladin. Everyone's rolling initiative when you come back after getting your beverage. I quit. I want to quit cool. before I die this time. Cool. Bye, everyone. Cool beans. I will not be returning. <laughs> uh, how how did we do this? <laughs> I, I'm gonna tell you guys and pre. I'm gonna tell you guys in post show what I had planned. I tell you what, it ain't this. Yeah. Son of a bitch. The ones don't lie. The ones do not lie. Thank you, Bass, for the advantage. I will need it. <laughs> oh my god. Fuck me. God fucking damn it. <sighs> I don't fucking believe it. I don't believe it. How, do f <laughs> how do we pull? How do we have Pandora's box? I'm questioning now. I'm going, is this it? Did we see this place? Is this all a loop? Are we the ones that fuck this all up? Man. This is the kind of DD that keeps is... you up at night, okay? Was it fate? What, what, was it destiny? Does destiny know what the fuck she's doing? Uh... Is, she's, if she does, she's real fucked up, you know that? You should break <laughs> up with that bitch. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go and find a thing and cry. I'll be right back. <laughs> be right back. Oh my God. Anybody want to do RP on the trail to Death Trap and Purple Worm? You're not wrong, Radio! Holy shit! Oh...
Nothing to see here. So mad. So <laughs> mad! Come back red for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. <gasps> I got a relentless? Oh yeah. So, it's cool if we run, right? I wish we had things that ran faster. <laughs> it's fine. We'll figure it out. Wait, what if we tame these worms and ride them? Unfortunately, we've only seen them <sighs> tamed in the modern timeline. <clears throat> Not in the deep past. Not pull out armor. <sighs> no, don't you start placing bets on my death. Stop. <laughs> I will not die. I will not die. Mm -hmm. Manifest that shit. Will not die. <clears throat> Michael Owie. Mm -hmm. Oh, boo -boo. I'm going down. No. <laughs> don't manifest it. Your delicious rabbit food. I know. That's why it's coming for me. I was going to try to feed it cupcakes at least. Oh, no. <laughs> Who's going to say no then? Who's going to say no to cupcakes? <laughs> oh, God. That's it. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm fucking stunned still. I just don't. Yeah, How what was with the back, back ones, y'all? No. How have we done this? How did we manage this? How did we get here? <laughs> A series of unfortunate rolls. Hello, Jesus. everyone. This was planned from the very beginning. Because the symbiote got a nat one, said, no, 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 we got to turn around. Yeah, no, yeah. No, 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 no. What Robert if we feed to, it Robert to the lost symbiote? lost his symbiote encounter, and he gained his fucking mm -hmm. bullshit weird more encounter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bitch, I had a Christmas episode. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting presents. This is the poor boss. It, the you gift know, I was talking death. about the talking animals. You know, I had a little Yuletide cheer in me. No, that got siphoned out. <laughs> Can you put like a little Santa hat on top of this worm? <laughs> Make it Krampus for us or something. Oh, you don't want to see the, the hellish Krampus I came up with for the charity stream out of, out of mid journey. Mm -mm. You know, we couldn't have just we, we we couldn't have just done like 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 you did a while back, where it's just we're all inside Tough Stream, and everyone is RPing, being like, "Tough, you're the best, and you make all the smartest decisions." Yeah, we <laughs> <laughs> could have just done a dream scene. Sorry, y'all. Maybe okay, next time. We'll get him next time. Let's all just go to sleep right now. Instantly devoured. <laughs> but then it's over, and everything goes black, and yeah. then you wake up. In another dimension. <gasps> and that was just a dream. Are we doing Inception now? <gasps> yeah. Mm -hmm. Quick, someone get a spinning top. Those were your psychic daggers, and now we can't trust them, Xanrin. <laughs> we had our damn top. <laughs> we thought we knew we had a way out. There was never a way out. Look, listen, I'm just going to sit here and say, man, a 29 was almost the best I could possibly get on that damn thing. And there's still a bunch of doubt with that shit. Man, I wonder what a 30 would have been. I wonder what the nat 20 would have been. Hope has always been an illusion. <laughs> anyway. You stare into the universe and you see that fate was always okay? set. Like the mathematics of it all. You realize that this moment where you got fucked over by purple worms that you wrote about <laughs> is always going to be this thing. Yes. Yeah, like oh, hello, kitty. Sorry, Axe is being bossy. Oh. It's, we got a big snowstorm ha happening, so she was mm. freaking out a little bit. That's fair. Oh, sweet baby. baby. My real sweetest. She was like, holy shit, Dad, pick me up. Pick me up <laughs> from my belly. 
<laughs> All right, I'm gonna go fill my beverage. Be right back. Mm hmm. So, how fast do you think these beasts can go? <laughs> Faster than us. I, you know, like. <laughs> Actually, a charging buffalo, like, you can get with mm -hmm. it. Oh, mm -hmm. I thought you were talking about Big Boy Wormy Boy over oh, there. Oh, Big Boy no, no, Worm's no. so much faster than anything on here. Oh, dang it. Mm hmm This is why oh. Reginald said everyone run serpentine in different directions. By the way, Reg Reggie's already started to go into full Forrest Gump mode. He's gone. <laughs> it's going to take a wisdom throw for Reggie not to run. He's going to be the only one who survives. Probably. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the Adventures of Reginald. Just a thought, what if we ride the worm? Like riding the wave. Mm -hmm. Roll a Gitsy Shark oh. animal handling check, please. Deal. <laughs> All right, I'm rolling animal handling. Oh. Yep. All right. <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm doing oh. great. <laughs> Riding the wave. That's great. It didn't like the zebra cakes. <laughs> Let's just throw these lower numbers out right now. I think that's the first creature you haven't managed to leap onto. Yet. That was a practice. I'm, you know, I'm not rolling a dice here because if I roll a one, he will make me eat that one. Yes. Or you will you be eating. dice. These ones don't count. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's fine, I'll just roll two d10s, and if I get 10 twice, yeah, it's all good, right? Yeah. yeah. It'd Let's be awesome it. if we all succeeded and it was like some serious, the sleeper has awakened moments. Mm -hmm. wow. Ooh. Dang. Can we make it happen? Can we go delete rolls? Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie, that is the first thing I'm gonna, I don't know if this was in the conversation know. before I came back, but that is the first thing I'm gonna check is like insight that shit um, and see if I can try and do the whole thing with it. Also, yes, um, before you came back, you did say that the worms aren't tameable because this was before the time that they were tameable. Boo! Because yeah, I already <laughs> Maybe. said it. I was like, so we're going to tame these. Yeah, this is our job. We he come was back like, no, with the army of worms to, to nom on the thing. It's going to be like that moment mm -hmm. in Mass Effect 3 where the fucking yep. Reaper gets eaten by the goddamn giant thresher mole. Yeah. <laughs> Should we be looking for some giant drums or something? Mm. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, Becca. No, you totally just gave me the fucking idea. Oh my fucking god, if this works, this is gonna be excellent. Thank you for the idea. You're welcome. Okay, all right. <laughs> I'm gonna check when, when it comes up, but we might not be completely fucked. <laughs> it's great. I don't believe it. Uh, I have a plan. I have a plan. It's going to be great. I have a plan. <laughs> Plans have never failed us ever. Look, let's look. I mean, like, you know, there was the time where I was like, hi, talk to Drax. <laughs> <laughs> Plans have never the failed eyes us. of Biddy are following us. <laughs> oh god, that's pure skepticism so right there. <laughs> uh, look, for every time I reach into the mind of a dragon, there is granted also the time I reach into the pants of a Leo. So I mean, you know. Oh my gosh. This goes. I'm so glad you're the one who brought that up. <laughs> Balance. You okay there, okay Sam? <laughs> I like how it wasn't of Leo, it was of a Leo. <laughs> <laughs> so I just start thinking about my husband who's a Leo. Oh, <laughs> just shit. any Leo out there, <laughs> don't worry. None of them are safe Leo is what she's saying. Implies the existence of many Leos. Some of the out. Life's like a coming. <laughs> Someone's a coming. I don't know if it's me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. You're not allowed to make that joke. I'm glad Rogue is so here sorry. This. You teed me up for this. <laughs> oh, God. People in the YouTube chat who are watching this posthumously, and when Rogue Bear isn't here, we need to keep this a secret. This never yes. happened. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 
Twitch about how you mentioned YouTube. someone's finishing tonight. <laughs> Don't worry, <sighs> I've seen you all act. I can pretend. <sighs> I have no idea what anyone's talking about. This show has to go on YouTube later. You all can't talk about this stuff. Uh, <laughs> YouTube <laughs> <realized. Boring> pants. <laughs> Don't do it. Um, Martin, Kyle, Ignifa, everyone in the YouTube chat, the secret is ours to keep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, everyone. <laughs> Say nothing. Oh my god, this is a good point. I should actually check in my inventory to see. Yeah, let's <laughs> see what kind of terrible things do we have. Hey chat, anybody got some luckies? Yeah. Lots of inspos. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't have any brute crits. D8s, D10s, D12s. I would joke about not having the divine intervention for this, but I do have it just in case. Don't worry. I said I have two. Take it if you need it. Yeah. I mean, look, listen, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how the fuck we pay the first one fails, and you'd be like, round two. It's like a luck, right? Yes. Using another divine intervention. <laughs> Uh, we roll a divine intervention and we pray to the spirit of Christmas to intervene on our behalf and mm -hmm. uh, save us from big old wormy boy. It will be fine. Listen, I think this worm looks adorable. Mm. Okay. Yeah. I, mm, I don't know if I'm even allowed to do this, but I will ask just in case. Do you guys want the lowdown on the lore that you might have known about the thing at this point, or do you not? Totally. About the worm? Yeah, about the weird more. This boy. He's yeah, just he here to see if we kid. need a cheaper, you know, rate on our home insurance. Yeah. Here for asking us about our extended warranty. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. Sam, what you were saying got caught up in all the other... And now you're muted. I'm lost, I'm so sorry. You're talking about me? Uh, yeah, no, sorry. I didn't hear what you said uh, at the same time as Glam. Oh, no, I was not gonna... My, husband. Uh, my Leo. Ah. Your Leo, not my Leo. My Leo. I'm so sorry. That's become a thing now, and I'm terribly sorry. I'm so fucking sorry. Don't ever apologize for good drama. What's... Hmm, here's a good question. What, what, what like, time period is Leo? What? Uh, you know how they're all associate. Oh yeah, start date July twenty third. Huh. August twenty second. Okay. Hmm. We are ready to die. Go ahead and roll initiative. Ah, <clears throat> welcome to the Super Bowl. <clears throat> Good. All right. I might use a relentless. Oh my God, Brom got a nineteen. Hell yeah! Whoa! Hey there, big guy. Don't overexert Dang. yourself in the desert here. <laughs> Some people just get really excited when they see a worm. <laughs> Nelson, do you roll initiative? I don't see it in the list. Not yet. I'll roll it now. Ew. Yo! <laughs> oh, no. What? Damn, everybody. Ah, oh, damn, that's a nat one. <laughs> I said a nat one. <laughs> Do I lose a turn? No, you don't uh, lose a turn. Yeah. Okay, I just go lost. Shit. All right. Big boy okay. with teeth. 10.18 on the first. Go 
13.18. Oh, oh. Nah, it's double nat one. Uh, anybody have anything where they cannot be surprised? Uh, uh, maybe. Let me double check. Oh god, I think that rogue feature is one I don't have yet. Let me double check this. Quick reference, I know the alert feat will do that for you. If anybody has alert, but I don't know if we do. Do I have... What is the reroll it? Relentless? Uh, yes, but you can't, can't do it on do the it one. Got a one. Oh. Oh, God, I don't know. Uh, yep, I... <laughs> Not for me on the surprise nope. stuff. Nope. Can I use a relentless on my uh, initiative, though? Yes, you may. All right, gotcha. I'll mark that down to one. Oh, please. Oh, I pray, I pray, I pray. Oh my god, it's mm. worse. <laughs> Same place, but worse. Hi. <laughs> I've heard so much talk about the shitty relentless RNG recently, and yeah, no, it tracks. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> we all go last down here. Hmm. Well. All right. Here we go. Old Worm will have a surprise round. And it is going to go for the rest of its snack. As it is going to head in a beeline towards Toph. Cool. Um, I'm prone, so. It will probably uh, have oh. advantage. Yeah, 20, uh, 32, 32 hits. Where did its actual dice roll? <clears throat> 17. 32 will hit. I need you to make a DC 19 dexterity save, Toph. That uh, would be a plus four, so that's a... Uh, 19. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So you go at 17. Karen, I'm going to throw on inspo. What inspo do I have? Let's do a... The only one I have, a d6. <laughs> yes. Boom. An additional five. I pass. Woo! As you roll out of the way just in time and are not swallowed whole. Quick question. Would I have been dead if I were swallowed whole? No. Okay. Not that round. If in this dex, can I purposely choose to roll into the mouth? Avoiding the front teeth? Hey, uh, no, that's not how that works. Okay. <laughs> Just curious. You want to? You, you want the thing to go ahead and uh, go there and auto fail? Be my guest. <laughs> no, I don't want to auto fail. I don't want the damage, but fair enough. I assume right. I take like half damage or something still. Yep. You're just not no? swallowed. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. But I take the 22 damage from the bite. Right? The no. Oh, no. Oh, okay. No, hold on. That ain't it either. 257 piercing? Fuck? No. Um, no, that ain't um, it. <laughs> okay. Why the fuck? <laughs> I'm dead a couple times. I'm dead. Over. I'm dead. Here we go. I know I hyped this thing up, Robo, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> 32 points of piercing damage. 
Okay. And then, since it missed you, you see its back raise up with this crazy stinger off the back of it. Oh. We'll go for one sting attack on you. Okay. 31 does hit. DC con save 19. Boom, 19. Oh, 23, technically. Yeah. Still, no difference, but yeah. As long as I'm passing, that's all I care yeah. about. Potatoes, potatoes, right? <laughs> all right. Are you uh, immune or resistant to poison? Um, let's say yes. Um, I am not. All right. You will take half damage on the poison. Okay. Just reroll it like this and do the alt. Oh, that's in the old way. I'll just do it this way. All right. You'll take 25 points of poison damage. Okay. Not gonna lie, I forgot how strong purple worm poison was there. Stinger's bad news. End yep. of its surprise turn. Reggie was definitely ready to run away. But after seeing Toph barely roll out of the way of this thing, he's gonna look back at Xanarin. It's time to kill this son of a bitch boss. And he is gonna run head on towards the purple worm. Come on, Reggie. He'll swing reckless as he always does. Three attacks with Chris Lax. Twenty just hits. Twenty oh is boy. the AC. Eighteen slashing. It does half as much as he hoped. Three force all applies. Extra one force applies. Radiant applies. Second swing with Chris Lax. Praise advantage. Half the 18, full the force. Next five force and the radiant. Last swing with the ax. Yes, <gasps> let's go. Let's go! <laughs> Full damage. That's my boy. I'm all man. Uh, I mm, let me check if I've got one. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, yeah, I've got a brute crit. Can I send that to Reggie? Oh yeah, we'll add another twelve on there. Gotcha. Let's go! <laughs> As he carves out a chunk of it, cough. It is your turn. I would like to use my turn to get my butt up. You were up. You got half your movement. Cool. That's the first step. It's already here next to me, so at least I don't have to go anywhere. <laughs> lucky, lucky me. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna attack. That seems like the most appropriate thing to do here in this space. Please hit. Does a 28 hit? We know it does. Let's yes, it do does. Some damage. Thank you for the counter strike. Thank you, Bass. 25 slashing, six necrotic, and one radiant before the divine smite. All right, it'll do 13. 
than a full six on the necrotic, the full one. Let's see that smite damage. Let's go big. Please be big. Yeah, Good 25 roll. radiant on that first hit. This thing just rears back. It doesn't expect this from such a small creature. It just yeah. it scalds its mouth. You can see part of its tongue just lop off and fall down onto the desert. Toph is going to hold oaths under in his hand. He just sit, sit. And he's going to try to hit him again to get him to sit down. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, 35. That will hit as well. So close. Sit! So that will be 19 slashing, 14 necrotic, and six radiant. And then we'll do another divine smite. That's our god bunny. There mm -hmm. we go. As I try to make this worm Oof. sit. <laughs> Damn, it's too oh, late, that's a lot of tens. A 10 radiant edition. I feel like an idiot. I just realized Richie didn't use his smites. No, I have my I have a smite built in on the roll. I always just do the 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 a baseline or one d eight. Oh, you do the okay. So then it just ticks because I don't have the spell slots with being a, a full one. I just have a handful of them. So pretty mm. much, I get one spell slot a swing per combat. Pretty well Let's runs see. me through. Mm. Once again, I'm. Going to command this worm to sit, <laughs> waving oath thunder around as this tiny bunny in the shadow of the purple worm. <laughs> you wiggle a lot like a worm to a large fish. It is attracted yeah. to it. It yep. does see you. Good, great. That old trimmer sense. I guess it doesn't speak the same language as I do. <laughs> Wait, do I have a language thing? Hold on. Rinwick, it is your turn. <laughs> uh, Rinwick will look at the worm and uh, putting out a hand out. His eyes are going to glow kind of that gold yellow as he listen to me now, creature. And I'm going to cast Mind Spike at the seventh level. He's going to make a wisdom save at 22. Whoa. Let me find it. All right, that's that's good. that's tough for anybody, let alone a purple worm. Let's see what we got. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, it continues. It okay. continues. I'm saying constellation in the lore. It's supposed to have some psychic bullshit. So I mean, you know, that makes sense, right? <laughs> Seventh level spell wasted. Eats the spell, okay. but you got your cantrip. <laughs> I'm so sorry, bud. It's such a cool uh, spell, too. <laughs> fuck it, all elders blast it. All else fails, burn it alive. Be like Adam yesterday and be all upset you only have a cantrip and do 52 points of damage. Yeah. Uh, first blast is, a, is an 18 hit. 18 does not hit. DC 20 or AC right. 20. Second uh, beam. Ow! <laughs> and 29 hit. 29 gets it done. Uh, that is three force damage, although I think I can add. Yeah, you have your uh, modifier on there too. Well, that's that was with my modifier, I think. Was it not? Is it oh. not mine? It's just a one d ten because I picked up Elder's Blast as a. Ah. It's not a class spell. Got you. Uh, but I think I have an extra d four I can throw on for something else. Uh, oh, I can't find it right now. So just a three. That's it. Uh, I'm not sure if it counts for spells and cantrips, but you're also within 10 feet of Reggie, so Aura of the Dragon might apply. Does it apply? Yes, sir. Roll is on there. You can roll it. 
It is on here. Where is Foundry. It? Is it in my features or is it? Uh, inventory. Inventory. Okay. Cool. Six. Yeah. Let's go. Force all applies too. Dope. Yeah, my aura of the dragon's built on that list. That's why it's five things out. So it's, we got my benefit. Anything else for your turn, Reginald? Uh, no, that's it. Brom is going to run to the bunny. I'm going to go and throw the shield up over for you, Toph. Thank you. Um, let's do a good old fashioned cure wound, shall we? That's always good to see. If it ain't broke, let's do fourth level cure wounds. Let's get you fixed up here. Remember, kids, take your veggies. Twenty-six points of healing back for Utah. I'll we'll see if I can crit heal. Sweet. Oh, oh. Yeah. roll past it. And an obliterate. Uh, now that you guys are next to me, uh, crit aura. Mm. You'll be able to crit on. Uh, you'll be able to crit on eight. Eight. You and Reggie can crit on eighteens now. Okay. And uh, I'm going to I'm going to use my sensor. I'm going to hit with it and then release the heal. Whoa! No! Oh. <laughs> Fuck me! Well, that didn't ah, last time. Got to pick up some of your own size. Ah! I swing with the sensor and I. I get my head stuck right in the sand. I fall over prone. At least the sensor goes off. Oof. Another three points where you talk. Thanks. Well, there we go. <laughs> I get to be meal number two. Mm-hmm. Cool, cool. Vinny, save us. <laughs> uh, deliver us from evil. Okay. All right, all right, all right. He's gonna move right there. And as she's running through this sand, I'm sure that it's probably like sinking down and then you know how you have to pull your foot up so hard and there's like sand kicking everywhere. But then you step in the next one. So she's like clunkily walking over there, <laughs> pulling out of the sand, probably tripping a little bit here. Sand there. combat would suck so bad. <laughs> oh, the worst. <laughs> <laughs> No. She sees you fall, um, not realizing it's due to your own mistake in that sense, but more so, the sand gets me too! As she's pulling out her <laughs> love's embrace to swing at this guy. Thirty-four. Yeah. Oh yeah! One on slashy, and then there's a six for the losing base. Yeah, twenty-seven total. Let's go. Sweet. Do go. half. Twenty-one. Do eleven, then a full six. Uh, twenty-eight to hit. Another 23 for the Man, good dice, dice, good dice. Let's go. Let's go. Guys are strong tonight. And another thing. Yeah. Join me again. Oh, Ooh. God, it hits. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No 20 more damage. Right, it'll do nine plus the full two. Cool. Um, 
After she does that last hit, she's going to utilize her bonus action to spawn her Echo. And she's probably gonna spawn it on the other side of Braum and right beneath Toph, so right behind him. <laughs> What'd you say? What'd you say to put him? Oh, uh, right behind Toph and like next to Braum. Okay. Sorry, not laughing at your echo. When I pulled up, I hit NPCs by accident, and I saw a picture of Reeves. <laughs> oh, Bring out oh, Reeves. Man, fucking people are crazy. <laughs> Reeves is the guy in GTA that's just running going, ah, ah. Oh, man. That's <laughs> into my turn. I can just imagine Reeves being chased by the worm through the desert for eternity. <laughs> the dice Aww. totally made that too. The dice made Reeves. Yeah. Oh, 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 um, you need to roll War of the Dragon three times because you're standing next to Reggie. Yeah. Three d six force damage. Uh, if you just do three d six, that'll be the ones. Yeah, and you didn't roll. Uh, let me go back here and look. You didn't roll a nineteen at any point in time, did you? Um, uh, I don't think so. Yeah, highest was a 17. Okay, got it. I want to make sure. 12 more points, force damage. That all applies. Let's go. Thank you. Oh. No, it's the end of my turn. That's okay. Got the obnoxious nerd here to remind you you should do it. With Braum hit the hitting the sand. He's going to go in for that bite attack on Braum. Oh, Yowza. This is going to be rough. Oof. Shadow Martyr. My oh, shadow's Oh, shit. So. Let's go. <laughs> wow. Fight, and you really quickly see Biddy's echo coming through to just be consumed by this creature, just missing Braum as the echo dissipates. Clutch <laughs> move! <laughs> Get out of the sand! <laughs> if it hits down like Braum goes up with the sand back down, I'm trying to! Braum, you can't pretend to be one of them. It doesn't work like that. They don't think you're one of them. <laughs> to see the dwarf legs like kicking in the sand. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a wisdom saving throw for it, whether or not it attacks the same space again. Cause it's gonna be like, I should have swallowed this thing. I'm so confused. If, uh, if it's 12, if it is below 12, I'm gonna have it uh, attack that, that space. Oh yeah! Oh my God! <laughs> it gets it, son oh. of a bitch! <sighs> all right, this thing just rears back, looking at all these creatures around it. I'm gonna roll one d4, one for Reggie, two for Biddy, three for Brom, four for Toff. Cool. All right, Toff, you got a uh, extra plus two on your AC from the shield. Okay, I'm gonna temporarily change that. So I, I have just a your butt. <laughs> Thank you. You got a 22 AC. 21. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Oh God. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Well. Oh, oh, my crit. Crit's on 19. oh, yeah, 50, oh, 62 points of piercing damage. You need to make a con save at disadvantage. This is me. Yes. Okay. Okay. Con save at disadvantage. Come on. I didn't do that one right. Well, 14's not great. 
Okay. Uh, rem remember that it's a plus uh, four. four. So 18. Yes. Uh, what does it need to be? 19, right? I already used my inspo. I only have the one. I had the d6 that I already used. I don't it's have any other. A, it's send you a d8 or a d10. I'll, yeah. I'll take the d8 if that's all right then. <laughs> Absolutely. d it's yours. Go for okay. it. Okay. I take the d8. So that'll be, that's I, an auto. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Half, half damage here. Oh, good. 12d6. Jeez. Or no, no, you, oh. Shit. That's great. No, 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 no. You, you didn't roll a, uh, you didn't roll one. That's, you're good. You're good. You're good. Um. <laughs> I was thinking about max. I was thinking about max damage, but it was just uh, the the crit was just on the on the piercing. So forty five okay. divided by two, it will be twenty three points of poison damage. Okay, and we can only use one inspo at a time, like one d six inspo each time, right? Yeah, one one inspo yep. per. Uh, uh, I don't know what you would call that a uh instance yeah. or whatever yeah okay cool 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 all right ow i'm still up though cool oh. whatever that means yeah <laughs> xanran your turn so uh real quick this will kind of determine what i do uh but xanran is gonna roll a I don't know if you'd make me roll history insight to see if he can sort of remember more precisely what the specific asshole psychic qualities of this thing are. I guess I'll just roll. It's probably a history thing more than an insight thing. Go for it. <laughs> I know. I know no better. I, it's I, you know. <laughs> it's not that you. It's not that you don't know. It's just. You got a lot on your mind, and it's time to say friends. Yes, you indeed. just roll. You just roll in. With that in mind, uh, Zanran is going to uh, reach to the thing that he needs to in order to stop big things, and he is going to uh, Ratham's psychic lance. This thing that's going to need to make a DC eighteen intelligence check. Oh, and, uh, oh, wow. Here's a question, real quick, before we do this. Um, I don't know if you A, apply this, or if this B, even is relevant. But would you allow me to apply an elemental adept thing to psychic damage? Negative. Cool, all right. Wolf time. Has to be of the actual elements. Lightning, mm -hmm. fire, Lightning, cold. Thunder, fire, acid, cold. Cool. Keep that in mind for next time. It's what makes psychic and force the... The strength that they are. All right, purple worm. Negative five intelligence oh. saving throw. Oh. <laughs> oh my fucking god, it nearly <laughs> it felt like it could have made it if it was different. <laughs> are you going to one shot this thing? This okay, so that's, that's damage. It will not take <gasps> half of this. So that is 27 psychic damage. Uh, and that thing is going to be incapacitated for a uh, until the start of my next turn. Um, yes. Let me, let me double check and see if that's incapacitated or if it's something else in the spell. I think it is incapacitated. Yes. Yeah, incapacitated. You just tranquilize this thing. It is immune. <gasps> to psychic damage. Or no. The... To the paralysis. Oh. Well, As you reach not... into its mind to try to just shut this thing off. It's like this thing's on autopilot. It's a brain that is so primitive that it operates like a cell or an amoeba. You're not able to paralyze it in place. However, you will get half of the psychic damage. Cool. Duh, you f son of a bitch. Why can't you leave me alone? He's just gonna. Then the mummery, the mem the mummeries, the memories flow, come back of how difficult it has always been for your tribe to deal with 
such a creature. Uh, Zenrin is gonna fly over. Mm, can I? Can I make that distance? Damn, forty-five feet. I can't make that distance. Uh, how far can I go? Uh, okay. Well, I guess that'll have to do. Uh, I'm gonna go five feet into the air and go here between uh, uh, between Biddy and uh, Reggie. And uh, bonus action, I'm gonna throw a sickle at this thing. Oh, thank God. Okay. And here is your damage. Here is a sneak attack for you. Right. And here is Aurora of the Dragon, because I'm standing near Reggie. Half the slashing, full on lightning. Half the sneak attack, full on the force. Well, you have carved parts out, it is not bloodied yet. And uh, real quick, uh, having thrown the sickle within five feet of Biddy, her braces are now charged. Oh yeah, let's go! Popped off. Bump, bump that DPS. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and that's uh, end turn. Nelson, it is your turn. Seeing um, Toph in trouble, Nelson is going to race to the side and popping Spirit Shroud as his bonus action as he does. And then in the space between Toph and the worm, a sphere appears. <laughs> spinning with like this neon blue light on one side, on Toph's side, and a dark, dank, necrotic power on the other side as we cast Wither and Bloom. Yes. Boom, I think that shows it to you, which I think this is going to make a... Uh, I think it's a con save, which you'll probably save on, but more importantly, Toph gets the healing. I'd love that. DC 25 con save to Le Wyrm. Damn. So strong it might actually fucking fail that. Woof. Go. Oh, just reloading. I don't know what it did <laughs> to the map. We win. Yay! The it's worm's dead. vanquished. Each of, it, each of winners. The sleeper has awakened. A GG. Wither and bloom. Let's fucking go. Yeah, man. Cool. All right. I love this spell. Constitution save. Come on, worm. No! A oh, reaction. Let me double check, make sure I got this, because otherwise I'm going to feel real stupid. Yeah, reaction, silvery bobs. I'm gonna make it roll that again at disadvantage, and I'm gonna give an advantage roll over to Rom, we'll say, on the next attack. The old barbs. That's, Love it. That's so cool. Fingers crossed that works. God, I fucking hope that works. All right, Same. second roll. Eat shit, bitch. <laughs> Let's Let go. go! We'll take full damage. Rolling it. Yes. You just it's only these. 11 necrotic. And then how do I invoke the healing half of it? Uh, uh, how much is the healing? Oh, the well, healing well. is my modifier. Plus, well, it says plus their hit die. What? Remaining hit die. How yeah, does that in work? Addition, one creature of your choice in that area can spend and roll one of its unspent hit dice and regain HP equal to the roll plus your spellcast modifier. Which is plus five. So you may roll that, Toph. Okay. So I roll plus... Wait. What am I rolling? Unspent hit die is what it says, but I'm not our, sure how our hit dies, uh, that in Was game. it a 1d8 or is it a 110 right now? 10 for Paladin. Ten. So you get to add a 1d10 plus, plus five. Plus five. <laughs> no! I love six health points. They're my favorite. 
Thank you. I'm sorry I rolled a one and totally botching it, but thank no, you no. anyway. No, no. a raindrop of water. Yeah. Like, oh, this is delicious. Yay. And uh, are we sure that Wither, Wither and Bloom is just the two for you right now? It is. Uh, yeah, I can pick one target on either side. I mean, as in spell are you, level, though, right? Yeah, are you are casting you, oh, it yeah, second? Level two is the highest I could cast it at. I sure? do believe. No. And level two is a higher levels. You can cast it at a higher spell slot. Each level increases it by one d six. Oh, I thought that the um, the because it's like in D and D Beyond, it's like you can only cast it as second. I thought, uh, but okay, if I'm wrong about that. Yeah, that higher is, levels, I'm you're stoked. So, what should I roll on top of the damage then? How many a, how many level slots over you want? Two D six um, at level two and a D six. Well, we'll just fire it off at seven then, right? So, um, Ooh, yeah, be add boy. five uh, five more D six. Yep, yep, yep. Let me pop those up right now. Rolling them out. Ooh, and Toph, you can roll uh, another 5d10s. That is correct. You're damn right. 5d10s <laughs> yeah. more. I was like, hey, you're doing Wither and Bloom. Get your money's worth, dog. <laughs> yeah, well, I thought I was, I'm sorry. I was misled by this D&D &D Beyond interface. I thought it said that meant that I could only cast it at second. Do Maybe I also shoot? add more plus fives or is that that? No, nah, just the one or. Okay. No, hold on. Um, Let me read it. Me damn, read it. you rolled a two, a one, a two, a one, and a five. Oh man, that's rough. Can you lucky a damage roll? Oh wait, hang on. Now, yeah, it... Nelson's D6 is, oh, sorry. I thought for a second that was Tolf's D10s and I was like, no, oh my God, no, that's no, 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 no. Yes, no. yes, it would Zero be, it, it's the only the one plus five. That's just like mine, no okay. matter what it scales, uh, whether I'm doing three D8s or whether I'm doing four D8s, it doesn't matter. It's always the same plus. Oh, additional 27. Let's go. Let's go. And that's gonna be 22 necrotic to Lord Wedham. Oh, dude, I can see the fungi coming up from the desert already. Even better, it's fungi. It's trying to do the nonsense of like roiling away and then like some psychic feathers come along and just sort of like distract it, pull it back down to the ground and it actually falls into your fungus. <sighs> Which is roiling up the side of it, the little tendrils of mushrooms sprouting up. All right, 22 points of necrotic damage. Let's go. Poison. Still <laughs> not bloodied. Yet. Yeah. This is a big yet, because Reggie's going full sin. Ah! Come on, Reggie. baby. Smash. <laughs> That's crit. What? On 18? Brom! Oh, because he's with Brom. Oh my fucking god. Holy Let's shit. Let's go! I'm for big whammy. I'm so fucking stunned by that nonsense. Let's go. Big damage. Reggie smash, come on, baby. That's right. Mm. Always have Robert make your NPCs when he's drunk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the trick. Got it. They come out godlike every time. <laughs> this dude's been a stud all the way through. There's no doubt about it. He's just. Man, I'm... <laughs> Absolutely. I made these things real strong. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love them. Oh my god! Here we go. He, they are officially bloodied. Yes. And my bonus action, Reggie is going to run and stand over by Toph with the shield as well. Here, take my hand. And I will use every single bit except for one point to get you some healing here. Cool. Reggie's got. Can't you only use half at a time? For lay on hands? I'm looking. 
You can use half of your total uh, pool at, on one creature. Yes. All right. Lay on hands that Reggie's <laughs> got. How much is in my pool? 50. So I'm going to give you 25. Ooh. Uh, and I will, I'm going to run by tag. Reggie's like, Woo! after the crit, uh, and he'll tag, uh, you Betty, uh, for 24. I know that, uh, what's that? 17 tops you off. Did I get hit? Yeah, you, you took some, I mean, you done when? missing HP. No, when did you take down? Why are you, why were you, yeah, why are you down? I have no idea. That's why I'm confused as well. I must have had you highlighted as well as the uh, purple worm on the first. So you guys yeah. all took some yeah. damage. So <laughs> never mind. He just goes for the high fives. Like, what's up? All right. I love that. Passes by Biddy, passes by Toph, gets the high five in, leaves Brom just stuck in the sand. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I mean, Rob did try to kill him. Like, <laughs> Rob could get up on his own. Toph, it's your turn. Great, great. I'm so ready for this. Now that I'm up, I go to hit him again with O Sunder. Again, always yelling, sit! <laughs> I'm going to get this to listen to me eventually. Aw, oh, but a 20 does hit. <laughs> It's not as much as I wanted. Still not as much as I wanted. 16 slashing damage, five necrotic, eight radiant. We're gonna do another D8 smite. Because why not? Yeah. An additional 12 points of radiant damage for that first hit. Again, just bashing him in the nose with it. Please sit. <laughs> he asks and tries again. Ooh, uh, oh, yeah! Let's go. Hell Thank yeah. you! Yeah. It's all oh. you have to do is say please to get a crit. Yeah, yeah. All I had to do is say please this entire Make time. It. I'm using my brute crit card that was given to me. Yeah, the warrior of the dragon on both those strikes, too. Yeah. I guys, I can see that, that Stream Loots is causing you guys some trouble. If you guys didn't realize, I am slightly busy at the moment. If you could send me a Discord DM so I can make sure and get whatever I missed, I'd appreciate it. But there's a high chance I'm going to miss it in chat right now while I'm with him in combat. While I'm murdering things? <laughs> I'm sorry, training things? <laughs> Got some yes. So, with that 37. How to train your worm. Oh, fuck. It's real nice to see a shit ton of dice roll for someone else instead of us. <laughs> you know? It's a little bit of damage. Just a wee bit. Yes. Go. Oh. Yes. 78. Oof. Hell yeah. yeah. Big chunks. Very happy with this crit and the, and the brute crit card. And we're going to apply our divine smite. As That's well, a 12 for your axe, isn't it? Yes. All right, so minus another 12. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I love it. This is exactly what I was going for. How How is it looking? I'm trying to decide how much divine smite I need to apply. Probably all use of the this biggest, stuff. Use the biggest one. Why? Yeah, why? All right, Odd. More, Let's more go. Gas, yeah. More go. More gas. More, more go. Gas, more go. <laughs> My driver's ed teacher was still there. He'd be so Here proud. Here we go. 16 additional radiant damage. Plus Critted. 40. 56. That all applies. Total. Yes. Woo! Please sit. Holy guacamole. As a free action, can I throw the zebra cake at it? It lands somewhere in the mall as this thing is like <laughs> fucking swinging back and forth. Good. And then wants to be our friend. Oh, you should have told me you brought zebra cakes. Yeah, that's what I was <laughs> hoping for. That's all I really wanted. 
I've been in these <laughs> deserts for a long time. <laughs> you know, man, if you guys had just started with the super kicks all along, it would have been fine, you know? I was trying to! What do you want from me? <laughs> There is still aura of the dragon on both those strikes as well. Yes, yes. An additional three. Boom, okay. All right, nine for the crit one, two for the reg, let's go. I love, I love to see it. Please sit! <laughs> Just sit down! It's not how it works, Toph! I could! Toph, help me up! <laughs> Toph, if you fucking train this thing, I swear to God I am going to be so mad at you! Somebody wants a new pet! <laughs> And I only saying. say that because I know there is a small possibility <laughs> that it fucking happens. Just saying I want something here, okay? I'm waiting for it. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and use my swashbuckler card that I just got as well, if that's all right. So they can't take an attack of opportunity against me. Go for it. In case I need to move. God. Well, it's, you, you, you either move or you... I do want to move. Yeah, you either I, move um, or you don't. <laughs> I, I'm i going to move, and the shield follows me, right? Uh, nice. On my bonus action, it can follow. Okay, all right. Ugh. I'm going to move closer to it, just a little bit up higher, but also trying to keep it away from the rest of the group so it stays keeps its attention to me. Uh, you don't have to burn your swashbuckler card right there. You're still like, things so oh, big. Oh yeah, that's right. I didn't move away from it. Okay, yeah, never it's mind. It's got I didn't so much again. reach. That's true. Okay, that's fine. I'm not gonna run away. I wanna stay here with the group. Bravest, bravest bunny boy. Could soon be the deadest, deadest bunny boy, but we'll find out. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Thank, thanks for that. Manifest <laughs> positive things. Right. <laughs> yes. Right. 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 Everyone? All right. Rinwick, it is your turn. This thing has blood, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. When Toph hits it and starts question. bleeding, <laughs> yeah. I will, uh, with the hand raised, I will, as that blood splatters out, I'll solidify it into, uh blood daggers and they'll begin swirling and slashing at it its flesh as I, uh, I'm going to cast cloud of daggers at the 6th level uh, so that'll be it's fucking Morbin time yeah well uh, it didn't roll <laughs> that's weird certainly not a question a vampire would ask no mm. uh, why is it okay hold on there we go I think not roll again. Oh, here uh, it is. Hang on, it showed, it showed up this time. I got it. Oh my God. I opened up a new browser window and its default picture was a herd of fucking buffalo. It was meant to be. That's adorable. <laughs> wow. 30, 30 slashing damage. And then uh, it takes 12 more D4s when it, uh, when it starts its turn there. Yeah, it's a sixth level. Cloud of Daggers is hella good yeah, if something's so, not moving around. Yep. So when it starts its turn, it will take 12 more D4s. Do you want me to roll those now? On, uh... No. It, we'll, we'll see what it does. We'll see what it does. Well, it's going to start there, right? Well, it gets the additional... I give you the initial damage. Normally, it goes up. You don't get the damage until it starts its turn. I always just let you get it right off the bat. So it doesn't um, double it doesn't double up in the same round. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. We I just thought, I, thought I just always like to like if you cast it, like get your butt like Fair enough, fair enough. You get your roll, you know. But I don't think it's gonna move, so yeah, fair. Oh, okay, I'm gonna get the fuck up. You got any movement? Rinwick? No, I'm chilling back here. Cool. 
Ah. Things. Oh no, I'm not, I'm not dead. <laughs> I'm not dead no. yet. I'm not dead. I'm not dead yet. Fucking hell. I just wanted to drink some mold wine in the desert. <clears throat> Didn't we all? Get drunk in the heat. <laughs> And I will move move said shield. Get that for Bunny. Cool. Uh, and I will stay grouped up with everybody. Make sure you guys are still getting the ore as I dust that sensor off. God. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and let that thing go off for... Another little uh, dippy heel leg, shall we? Mm hmm, mm hmm. <laughs> Cough, you get six. Yes. And I will do another cure wounds. Let's do it. Third level. Oh, let's do fourth level. I got plenty. That's the spirit. Oh, demon, I almost critted. Oh. 26. Into my turn. Get him, Billy. Everybody's getting 26? No, no, just no, you. Just you. No, no, just oh, you. I was really excited for everyone. Sorry. I mean, look, listen, you've been tanking this whole damn time. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to teach it a few new tricks. Go for it, Biddy. Okay. Um, can I go ahead and use my bonus action to spawn my echo? Right there. Right round, right round. Right there. Echo spawned. Sweet. Biddy's gonna move closer because it's great to be next to all three of you. So, she's gonna bring up her. Up some brace. And a swing. Not with a one. Oh! Not with one. <laughs> I guess it's my turn now. Click, you, you already ruled that the sand was gonna be a bitch. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Oh, the, not the worm. <laughs> this is no! Exactly as we hoped. <laughs> Banana peel worm. <laughs> you go down in the sand. You still have your two other attacks, but you are lay prone. Man, she's moving speed. Give me up. It's not gonna be not prone. No, you can't get up. You're stuck on the ground. You gotta roll with disadvantage on the ground. Oh my god. I can just imagine her actually <laughs> probably have fallen and like she's like on her knees and one leg's fully covered up to maybe her hip and she's trying to swing at this thing. So stupid question, Robert. Uh, and I'm going to assume this is a no. You never used the advantage that it gave you from silvery barbs. That's not transferable, I presume. Uh, mm -hmm. who, who, who'd you give silvery barbs to? Uh, to you, but it was never, it was never Was it me or Reggie? I'm sorry. I, I got lost in the sauce. No, it was you, but I'm wondering if it's transferable because if it is, I'm going to transfer that. Yeah, go for it. I never heard it. Yeah. Yeah, let, let, uh, okay. let Biddy roll for uh, a, uh, a straight up. Yeah, re -roll the next. that first. Oh, oh, I was going to say on the first one, but yeah, that was Can't because that's one, so. I mean, on a, on a, it would have been advantage is the point, you know? Oh, would have been advantage. Ah, oh, well, no, nah, we're already here. We're already this yeah. deep, but uh, I, I, I will, I will let uh, let Biddy roll flat for the last one. Okay. Yeah. Twenty-two slashing, halved, plus the one. And then it's is it gonna be two d six because of the uh, uh what's the name, Reggie? Yeah, oh, you're uh, the uh, the aura is actually in your inventory. In, my inventory. in your uh, in your foundry inventory. Oh, yeah. oh. So Heck yeah, anyway, I got the easy many, button. How many times do I roll it then again? Uh, click it twice. Is it twice? Cool. Yeah. 
Oh, good job, Sam. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> <You're> great. <laughs> mm. Ooh, yeah. Cool. Um, um, um. I guess that's really all I can do because I used my bonus action. Cool. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Um, your storm braces were fully charged. You can set that off. Oh, if you want. oh yeah. You're right. Yes. Thank you. I can Things see and right. stuff. <laughs> cool. God, storm braces are so cool. Mm-hmm. There you go, an extra 20. Um, Biddy still kind of swiping at this <laughs> more from the ground. As it connects with one of its teeth, you see that her storm racers just jolt through her love's embrace and like kind of go into its tooth and shake it like a toothache, trying to give it a root canal, we'll say. <laughs> oh. Gosh. Yeah. First lightning damage done to it. Uh. No, second lightning damage. I hit it with the sickle. Ooh, it's good I forgot. Is this oh, no. thing <laughs> enrages? Oh, God. Great. Oh, no. Of course it does. Why wouldn't it? Of course it does. It will have triple advantage against you as it is drawn to this electricity as you fry the shit out of it it is going to go for a bite on you biddy but can i shadow martyr for this one are you prone i'm gonna make you roll for it this is going to be dex versus dex ability check you versus the worm here will be the line It is frenzied. Oh, oh. oh no. <laughs> oh, God. Why do I even try? You need to roll 20 to get a roll off. Show enough. Come on. Oh. I'm a lucky. Oh. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, crit on 19 can you make it count for that please (laughs) so close damn add an inspo to it can it like kind of count as a does not crit thankfully dexterity saving throw with disadvantage DC 19 do note you are in both Toph and Reggie's auras. True. Ooh. Yeah. What do the auras do again? Plus four uh. from both of us. No, I don't have a plus four. You have a total of plus oh. uh, five. Mine's a baby aura. Oh. No, <laughs> you should be a plus three on yours. Your Christmas 17. Yeah, it's plus three on Reggie. We need a sound effect for when people get bifed. I can re-roll. I, I, as a fighter, have Indomitable that I can use for my saving throws. It's my favorite thing. (laughs) Aura of protection. Get a bonus saving throw equal to your charisma modifier. Plus one. You are correct, Mundo. So you're at a 16 right now. Oh. What'd you say it was again? 19. Uh, 19. Oh, okay. Well, just give it a whirl. I'm gonna use a, I'm gonna use a D10 just to try that much more. Go! Oh man! You will be able to roll from being swallowed by the purple worm. Forty-one points of piercing damage. Oh. 
And then it's going to go for its tail shot on you. <gasps> and it crits. <gasps> Constitution save. Disadvantage. DC 19, you'll take 72 points of piercing damage from the tail stinger. Oh my gosh. You said saving throw? Yeah. You'll get plus four from me. And plus three from Reggie. So you're at an 18. You yeah. just need to use a regular inspo to get yourself across the line. You don't have to roll. You will save, you will take half damage. Edgy, calm down. That's <laughs> half of 72. Uh, no, this is the poison damage. 36. Oh. You take 72 plus 24, so 96 points. Ooh. Fucking hell. Xanrin, it is your turn. Okay. Uh mmm. Mmm. I'm gonna try I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna try that history check again. See if I see if I remember anything else. Your, your ruling on this, Robert, do I remember this thing is attracted very specifically to psychic nonsense? Psychic, lightning, odd disturbances of that, 100%. You remember its tremor sense, but you know that most of all, none of your teammates need to be swallowed by this thing because it's more than likely one or done. And it's, you know the acid has dissolved many of the cadre before on one swallow. I want to try something, and if any need to use a hero point for it, uh, I, yeah, totally. What I want to try and do is throw a psychic anchor somewhere far off behind the worm away from the group and channel three side points into it, gameplay wise, so that it creates a kind of sandworm thumper to distract the damn thing so it chases after it. Yes, you may. Okay. Well, that's, uh... Yeah. Uh, what action economy would you let me do on that? Bonus action? Or action? Bonus action. Okay, cool. Three point anchor, so three side points spent. All right. So yeah, that just, that, no damage, but that thing lands far off into the desert. Um... <laughs> just and starts literally vibrating with the pressure of psychic energy that's sent over there i don't know what you want me to roll to see if it's convinced by that nonsense or if that's even a thing but that's for it to roll so mm, okay but it's there uh, and it's we got a little bit of catnip on the board So literally, to, for you to know what it's like, there's going to be a coin flip between the electricity that buzzed it in the front and your anchor. Can I throw my second knife to make the anchor more attractive? <laughs> Negative. Okay. All right. Uh, in that case, I'm going to fly over to the massive group of people over here. Um... Uh, yeah, and I will use my... Oh, do I use my action to help Biddy get up, or do I use my action to attack? I think I use my action to attack on this one. I'm going to pull out a short sword for the first time in forever. Uh, because seeing that it does not like lightning, uh, yeah, and understanding that psychic damage probably doesn't do that much to it, got to fall back on something that I've almost never used. Uh, so short sword attack coming in. And it shows that I've not used it. Damn. 
I don't think that's. Oh no, you roll a three. You roll a three. Yeah. You know, Bife is the kind of guy that usually rolls a three through nine, and everything's perfectly fine. So this is the one time where you don't have a plus twenty-seven modifier <laughs> with your roguish bullshit. Uh, can I throw a fucking? Uh, can I throw a D eight on that bad boy? You can inspire it. You can side die it. Uh, I can't side die short sword sadly, but I'll throw a D eight and spawn that. Ah. Uh, Mm, there yeah, we go. just here. next time you're around a shaman or something, just let, let it go sit in it. Once it's sentient, you'll be fine. Cool. Uh, and here is your sneak attack damage. And here's your War of the Dragon. Ooh. There we go. So that's 12 piercing damage, uh, 18 sneak attack, 5 force damage. And uh, you realize that it takes the same as your psychic because piercing it's resistant to as well <laughs> all that that thing <laughs> well, sometimes, I mean, sometimes you gotta bife the bife that's fine you know we know more <laughs> stuff about it now it's piercing slashing and psychic bullshit that's fine we got this same, same. tough hide nelson Ooh, Nelson whirling in, you know, the spirit shroud, little uh, little creatures of the forests, ghostly skeletons dancing around him, uh, seeing uh, Biddy take a massive, massive swing. Uh, he opens his mouth and Jacob's voice comes out saying, fuck you, and he reaches an arm forward, casting with his libram in his other hand, finger of death. <sighs> Oh, oh, be dangerous. <laughs> oh, my fucking god, glam, do it. Finger of death. I'm trying to imagine what Nelson's finger Wait, how do I get like. it into the chat? Sorry. Oh, uh, go to your spell book and then click the picture of the spell. There it is. Hey. There you go. DC 25, finger of death. <laughs> hey, who's the real super villain? around here, guys. Who's the real super villain? I, <laughs> if I DC 25 somebody a finger of death, goes, that is bullshit, man! <laughs> Fucking take your homebrew back! What were you? You all sauced up book. when you made that? <laughs> it's in my book at level 7. Hey, I love it. This is fucking awesome. Let's go. Yeah. Hey, it's gonna need it because Khan is its its, its, its best. But Correct, yes. The best part is, is this thing is not a fucking wizard, so it's not saving on magical things. So it's, it's got one roll. Let's go, baby. Survey says. No longer of him. What? Survey. Okay. Yes. Okay. Survey had no respondents. A quarter of them only respond when it comes to surveys anyway. Nope, that's... <laughs> what? That's not, that's what? Not. Oh my god, I had your character sheet up. I'm a fucking idiot. Okay. Nelson was like... Nelson it stands. <laughs> it stands. Boundary was trying to tell me, quit quit, <laughs> quit trying to figure death yourself. Quit trying to figure death He's yourself. He's peeping over my shoulder, y'all. Oh. See that? It shouts, fuck yo, back at Nelson. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> <I> go! <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Here we go. Survey says! You're killing me here with this anticipation. Yeah. Yes! Oh, no! Did it. Finger of death! Uh, I just clicked damage, it's not rolling. Yeah, that button's, that button's twerked, bro. Uh, Real quick. Reaction silvery barbs. I'm gonna give disadvantage on that roll and give advantage to Biddy on the next thing they do. Reroll that bad boy. We're fishing for a crit here. Uh, You're fishing for a nat one. Uh yes, I am. seven D eight plus thirty points on a failed save. Seven D eight plus thirty, that is correct, yes. Alright. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> oh. All right, let's see this beautiful bean footage. 
Seven D eight plus thirty, my friend. It's the eight. It's this one, right? Nope, that's the ten. <laughs> Seven D eight plus thirty. Clicking it out. I'm clicking it out. I'm clicking it out. No, the damage button didn't work. Ah. Oof. Sixty-one Five. points of necrotic damage, and we forgot this last time. My spirit shroud pops off. Hey. For an extra D eight. That is correct. For one more sweet, sweet, sweet D eight. Four more on top. Sixty-five total. Woo! Well done. Oh, please kill yes. this thing. Come on. Just double checking to make sure uh, if you did any more necrotic damage or not. Oh, got it. Oh, it looks like that is. Uh, and then Aura the Dragon, so you get an extra. Sure. Six on there that you can roll. That's uh, within 10, 10 feet, right? Is that how that works? There's another six. Four more. All right, so we're at 68. Here we go. Minus 68. 69, actually. Nice. Oh, yeah, it is 69. Nice. <laughs> nice. It is still up. He does not raise it as a undead purple worm. Damn. <laughs> oh my god, dude. That would have been amazing. <laughs> I fished for the crit for you, bud. I wish. No, no, no. I it wanted it. So I wanted cool. it. I appreciate it. It's so cool. <laughs> we were hoping. Ready time. Cough, I want you to roll a perception check. Oh, good. This always <laughs> goes so well for me. Robot. You all know why. <laughs> No. It is a nine. Mm hmm. I see that fucking big shit eating grin on your face, Robert. What have you done? What have you? Roll one for Reggie. Is it Santa Worm, the Christmas worm? <laughs> oh, thank God. Boss, what the fuck is that? As Reggie's about to take his swing with his axe, you see this floating orb that's streaking across the horizon, going incredibly fast. Reggie, I haven't got a fucking clue, but if it's coming for us and it's not friendly, smash, please. Oh god, it's going fast. What the fuck? You got it, boss. As this thing jettisons across, flying even closer to where we are as Reggie pulls back his first swing from this large purple orb you actually see this black and necrotic ray that fires and strikes out towards the worm what? excuse me Oh my fucking god. Wait, what happened? <laughs> but I don't want it dead. Arnold? Who the fuck is Arnold? <laughs> the Necrominator. Do we have the Terminator here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it flies by, and before Reggie's able to take the swing, you see this Necrominator beam just cut the worm in half as it inflays over 
it circles back around and it drops and you see this middle-aged man with a cape and amulet hovering over the purple worm. <laughs> oh, if it weren't for me, oh, you guys would have been in bad shape. <laughs> Hey, this is Biddy is visibly coughing blood, laying in the sand, like holding on to her loves and praise. <laughs> Ooh, you don't want to mess with those. God, what are you out here with a bunch of hell hogs? Oh. That's bold. Uh, uh, I'm is sorry, everyone no okay? Not to look a gift horse in the mouth after you just beheaded that thing, but. Who the fuck are you, sir? With all the respect due to our savior, who the hell are you? I. Uh, whoa! Hey, watch that? out! Whoa! 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 Is he? Those blood daggers are circling around. Whoa! Hey! Whoa! Whoa! Ah! Uh, ho! Oh. Yeah, that, hey! I mean, it, obviously, if I hadn't shown up, that 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 certainly uh, could have finished it. But uh, as he blows off his trigger fingers. I want you guys to make a perception as you stare up at this, uh, what looks to you as a middle-aged man in Doctor Strange cosplay. Can I, can I pop over and hit, um, Biddy with life transference? Oh, absolutely. You're out of combat. You can, uh, you can certainly, certainly do so. 100% the sound effect it makes. That's amazing. So it's going to be 23 damage to me. Twice the damage I take. So that's 46 to you. Sweet. She feels it and all she can really muster up is <laughs> thanks. Oh. Nelson like kneels beside as he applies the life transference and you can see on his face like the a little bit of the damage the hurt you can feel you can see it on him but it's just a mere kind of wince as he like tries to keep stop you from just bleeding in the sand <laughs> yeah she's kind of sitting up now but still sitting you're gonna want to put some gauze on that <laughs> are you a doctor of sorts <sighs> oh and then perception you said who's this walnut my uh, my name is the illustrious Arnold, but you you can call me Arnie. Thanks, I, I I think this is like the most surreal moment. This thing has haunted him for destroying two homes. It is it, it, you know it has eaten friends. It has destroyed all sorts of nonsense. It ate Mitros, it followed us through time, and then it just got eaten, uh, sorry, like beheaded by a spaceman. And Xanarin is unbelievably confused at this moment. Like, imagine, yeah, no, it's not a fucking clue what to do with this. It's just sort of looking at this thing in disbelief, like, what? yeah, no words come out of his mouth. Just perpetual staring. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be honest, I didn't think when we, uh, we showed up out here either it would be so, uh, so hostile, but yeah, I, I would definitely, if you're headed over towards the carnival to next time, go ahead and take care and use our transportation. You, you are here for carnival, right? I mean, why, we. why, why else? Who's we? We, the uh, carnival. Can you elaborate? <laughs> never heard of you. A carnival? Toph will immediately get up. You never heard of uh, 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 Witchlight Wonderland? It's. it's <laughs> I can't say I've been lucky enough to hear of it, no. Biddy, please punch me so I know I'm not dreaming. Do I look like I can punch right now, Xanrin? I will. Toph will punch him. Go for it. Do it. I asked for it. <laughs> Biddy's like, go on. Punch him. Does a 24 hit? 
Yeah, that'll hit. Great. With everybody around. <laughs> Order of the dragon. That's going to be <laughs> ten, <laughs> 10 points of damage. I lose some. <laughs> I lose my temp HP almost. And your two ah. force damage. See ya. Okay. You yeah, know what? If we're going to take a break, also. <laughs> an additional 13. <laughs> I, did, I did ask for it. <laughs> you, you just kind of see, you kind of see Xanarin just get, kind of get smacked around Whoa! by this one punch bunny. Just, yeah. One punch <laughs> bunny's real. got a shot. Nelson runs over to Xanarin to apply life transference. Oh no. <laughs> Rowdy bunch. I like. I like that. I like that. We need some energy here. It's a, 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 a different plane for us. You know, a little new territory. Uh, Got to always be expanding your horizons. You know. What's your horizon? Oh me, I f mainly the Fey on my off time, but uh, you know, Shadowfell could use a little uh, Christmas cheer. You know. Hey, not where you came from. No, not originally. Just spent some time there in college, and uh, you know, sixteen years later. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> so you're not shitting. You are the actual witch-like carnival. Not the original. You see, I. Uh, what? When I was there, uh, either doing some expansion things to. Uh, uh, Call it a license, really. Uh, uh, really, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a franchise. Franchise for, uh, you know, other planes. They're rapid expansion. We still got to buy everything from them. Hey, the training is immaculate. They still come all from the Fey. I mean, you think so? somebody here in the Shadowfell is going to trade all this doom and gloom? We got we to turn these frowns upside down. All right. I'm not frowning. Can I roll an investigation check to see if his franchise implies the witch like carnival is a pyramid scheme? Because this is totally what it fucking sounds like. Yeah. Not so much a pyramid scheme <laughs> as uh starting questionable Multi level marketing <laughs> scheme. <laughs> starting questionable franchise practices, okay? This is when it goes from a really good restaurant with like four units to shit. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, roll that insight. Oh, oh god. Like Chewies. The Knight of Wands. Uh. I ain't got a clue. <laughs> so you're like witch, like carnival, but funnier. Oh, uh, I'd like Why? to say that uh, my franchise and the illustrious Arnie's witch, like carnival, is probably the best incarnation it's ever been. And obviously, we're willing to go places that. Other witch like carnivals just aren't. I mean, yeah, Shadow fell. Everyone's depressed as fuck. I suppose it needs love. Yeah, sure. Makes sense. Yeah. I mean, after all, the original carnival came from the Shadow fell. So I thought, hey, no better way to get our feet wet than to come and try on the proving grounds of the most depressing place in the multiverse. <laughs> um, I don't wear pants. I, you I fit right in with the locals. Speaking of locals, you got a little bit of that flair, my friend. You'll fit right in. Arnie, when are you from? Uh, long story, but uh, we could totally, uh, as he begins handing out individual uh, one drink tokens, preciously tearing them off one piece at a time. We could, uh, we could all have this conversation back at the carnival. Maybe not... This is kind of dangerous, after all. Uh, come back, have a have a round on Arnie. Does he smell funny? He smells. It's my candy corn. <laughs> this like, feels like a legitimate question to ask. I don't feel <laughs> my immersion, Robert. He's a Tommy Bahama man. It's very. <laughs> Very strong, like Italian. I was a, <laughs> very yes. It's he smells of Key West and middle aged man. Tommy Bahama, hundred percent of Tommy Bahama. Perfect. Smells <laughs> of Italian. 
<laughs> well, so if Tommy Bahama and Epcot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's eating Dole Whip. Hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah. What do you? Uh, we can round up these uh, these fur babies and get over there. What do you think? I rest somewhere. It's a red bed over there. Oh, you're with the best accommodations in the desert. That's all I needed to hear. Thank you. And she's standing up using her love's embrace as a crutch. He snaps his fingers, <laughs> makes a portal. Yeah, what do you need, boss? As two goblins come and step out of that portal. Need you to grab some bags. Uh, dust the rabbit and the fine lady off over here. And uh, yeah, make sure and get the uh, rest of these fur babies across. I'm gonna go get some cocktails. You got it, boss. Did we get a name for this desert? Uh, <laughs> name? <I> mean... <laughs> this place? <laughs> Your guess is good as mine. When we're from, this would be the Sleeping Sands, but I don't think it's been named yet. What the? F Hey, uh, boss, can I, can I get you anything? Uh... <laughs> As you look back and there is a massive ogre in clown paint with a fresh management vest and badge that says Didier Marceau. What is this timeline? Yeah, where are we? Where are we? <laughs> like I asked, when are we? <laughs> when, when, where? Xanarin sees another clown and immediately is afraid. Could I, uh, help in any way with the new guest, uh, show them a little bit of uh, hospitality? At least he's nice. Of course, Didier. Please, uh, get the drinks, get the uh, room, room keys for the floating carousel. Uh, these are our guests, so, uh, Make sure and get them the upgrade. I will see you over at the fantastic, fabulous beer garden. Excuse me. I'll be with you in a second. I see. <laughs> Amps through the portal. Large ogre clown with his purple makeup and Harley Quinn eyes and hat. Don't worry about the boss. He's a he's a busy guy. Uh, I will take your bags. Uh, come here to get these. Uh, as he grabs the reins of those big beasts, but it's just he just he's got a whisper to him, and they just all line up. As my old middle management character from Witchlight, who's in training at this point, takes that line. <laughs> and leads them on back through the portal. The goblins do the rest of the packing through. <clears throat> Taking everything the rest through. You're left with just yourselves in the portal there. Just shimmering for a second. What in the nine hells is going on here? I'm very confused. Betty, I'm not so I'm not sure that I'm not still dreaming. He seemed nice. He a nightmare. As he flies back past through. Oh, hey, uh, I wanted to tell you there is a uh, there's a time on that portal, so uh we'll probably want to get through as he winks and gives you a shooter. You see the bit of his black mask move and shift as he flies back through the portal. And that is where we will pick up on January 5th. No. What? Who put drugs in my beer? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Listen, Hold on. Like, until you rolled that once, we had the Christmas carnival to go to. <laughs> yeah. Just so many now. Hey, you still got to the Christmas carnival. It's just, you know, the dread of knowing that there's a guy with a symbiote mask that's flying around. No big deal. Oh, great. Great. What the fuck? <laughs> All good things. I was, I thought the fell place was going to be way different. I... The fell past. <laughs> In the party over Bell here, Pass right? probably is way different, but you just happen to be yeah. where uh, there was a holiday episode supposed to pop up inside. <laughs> this <laughs> this didn't quite manifest. <laughs> you should have made the worm a Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you got oh, to meet man, uh, you got to meet old Arnie. Arnie, Arnie is like, do you mind if I do one quick thing? Which is just slice off one of the teeth of that fucking worm. You can take the electrocuted one. Oh, yeah. Right off. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. Keep it for later. <laughs> just like I said I would. So. Is it like wearing a shark tooth Netflix, ne uh, necklace? <laughs> yes. yes. Necklace. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving you all with the facts. Like holding that a piece of Mitros is here from the past and the future. Have fun with that. We'll see you guys in the new year. Love y'all! Take care! <laughs>